Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We're <laughs> Yep. Uh, <laughs> but before we get into tonight's episode, we do have some announcements to get through. The thing with our first sponsor, NordVPN. Sam. You've heard me talk about NordVPN before. It's the best cybersecurity on the market. That's it. Matt, hack to you. Wait, there's, there's, there's no ad? I just, we're on the moon. I really want to start exploring it, so let's just skip the ad. NordVPN, they sponsor us all the time. They're not even going to notice. Go on. <laughs> Okay, uh, on the show Sam, then. Sam, oh, Sam, you have to do the ad. What, what the hell, Ashley Middlebrook? Don't freak out. <laughs> but we found this bomb on the set, and once you start an ad, which you did, if you stop the advertisement, it will explode. Exactly like the, the movie Speed? Exactly like the movie Speed. Oh, God. The movie. Sam, you so have to keep so doing good. this ad. Or the whole place is gonna blow. Oh, oh god. god! Oh my guys. Oh god! If Damn, lives are on the line, I have no choice but to continue. What do we do with this? NordVPN software can protect you from all kinds of threats. Ah. DDoS attacks, phishing, malware, password, ransomware, even malvertising. That's when you click an ad, which I've done many times, and the ad will share your IP address or configuration with hackers, but NordVPN, uh, I'm parched, I'm parched. I need water, oh, no. I need water. Damn it, Sam, you have to keep going! <laughs> <laughs> Right in the back of my throat. Man, it is definitely rum. Keep going! <laughs> With NordVPN, threat protection blocks ads for smooth and safe browsing. It also scans and downloads. <gasps> no. No time for air! No time for air! Okay, 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 I'll no. keep going while you guys defuse the bomb. Okay, we'll defuse the bomb. But I don't know what to say. Uh. This is what you were born to do, Regal! Now advertise! Okay, okay. Um, if someone tries to shut down your server, they might try to DDoS oh, you. Send a high volume okay. of data to your high It's harder we cut. The red one. Why? Because it's always the red one. Oh, you sure? I don't know. Okay, okay. Someone call Keanu. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Okay. One, two, wait, I'm not ready to do it. Okay, no, 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 We're clear. Oh, I can stop? Yeah. Oh. You did it, Sam. You saved my life. How can I repay you? <laughs> By subscribing to NordVPN, Marisha. <laughs> They've been sponsoring the show for a long time and supporting them helps support the channel. So go click on over and grab the NordVPN deal at nordvpn.com slash critical role. Did you spit in your face? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> And get an extra four months. Try it risk free now with a 30 day money back guarantee. Matt, I'm sorry your wife had to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Not as sorry as she is. Uh, thank you, Sam. Thank you, NordVPN. Uh, Marisha, you got announcements. It's so oh, rum. You I still have that. <laughs> yeah, you still thirsty, Sam? It's definitely rum. It is. That was <laughs> such a look. It went, it hit so the back intense. of my throat. You're used to it. You've been there before. Ooh, that oh, wrong. Is, is it? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's good. <laughs> Marisha. Uh, Cadella Obscura, Cadella Obscura. Tide and Bone Woo. has come to its thrilling conclusion, but you can now peek behind <laughs> this curtain with our Session Zero character creation video, uh. as well as our Crafting a Mystery interview with the incomparable Abria Hyen. What? What? Both uh, VODs uh, are now available on Twitch and YouTube. And then also, we just had the brilliant creators and narrators of Midst over for a fantastic round table. Yes, it was, yes, it was, it was, it was really fun. awesome. Uh, you can now check that out. Uh, it's out on VOD now. And season three launches next week on February 14th. February 14th. It's crazy. It's the best season yet. Get caught up. Subscribers get the first three episodes as well as lots of other perks. So consider subscribing at midst.co. Midst uh, and get ready for this new thrilling installment of this mind boggling story. Woo! <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Marisha. Laura, you're up. We have merch. <laughs> <laughs> Starting with. Nice. This is for you, baby. <laughs> 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 Chatney Pocket Woodworking Shirt by artist 
Alexis Lampley. You can find them on Instagram at Late Night Letterer. That's cool. World's best dad. We have two <laughs> colors. We have this. Wait, this we have this one. That's in the U.S. It's kind of a heathered gray. And then we also have this one. It's a solid gray. Oh. Mm. This is available in the U.K. and the EU. Maybe this one yes. is the U.S. and Canada. Jesus. I don't know which one I like better. Mm. You're calling up some dinosaurs over here? Check them out. Those are cool. Thank you. Also, guess what else we have. Oh. Wait, what is this? We have more merch. I'm going to tell you Liam, right now. You're going to take those shirts home, right? This yeah. is, um, okay, get ready. Because, you know, we have the um, Spells Hells collection. Mm. Well, now we're releasing an arm of the air starry bomber oh, jacket. Cool. That's awesome. Cool. What? I know. Oh, sure. Wait, wait, wait. So wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. Look at the back. Oh. I'm so, taking that home. It's it's, really it's super cool, cool. and it's <laughs> yeah. so so comfy and it's got this really wow. beautiful lining. Oh wow! Y'all, wow. yeah. we made good stuff. I know, and it's super comfortable. Anyway, it's in all our shops. Go check it out. Wow, yeah. I love it. Here, you can't take it home. We have to keep these here now. But I can take it home, right? But you can wear it. <laughs> okay. You have more to say, Laura. I'm saying more. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have more some stuff that I am going to talk about. <laughs> Bro. Our friends at Sideshow, mm. guess what? They what? have a beautiful Yasha statue that's coming out. It's yeah. open for pre order so right pretty. now. Take Channel your inner storm with flowers in your hair. I didn't read the prompt to write it all there. <laughs> and you can also, like, you know, if you already bought Bo, you can pair Yasha up with Bo. Ooh. Look how much. Yeah, you can't see Yasha the hot right shoes. now. She's They're so, so mm -hmm. oh, I thought she you were needs... going to show us how they pair. But... No, it's just saying <laughs> Bo's hot. Yasha's <laughs> <laughs> also hot and would Bo's be hot right, right here. Oh, okay. Obviously very yeah, sad anyway, to be standing alone. Anyway, look at yep. She's so lonely. <laughs> Visit side.show slash order Yasha to pre-order oh. Yasha. Or you can check out any of Sideshow's <laughs> other stunning Critical Role statues. They have prints. They're all real cool. They have other stuff. Check it out. Now I'm really done. Awesome. Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. And I believe that concludes our announcement. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, so, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. While you manage to take care of your parched mouths, let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Critical Role. <laughs> Till we reach the top, two by two we fall. Will we beat our end or meet our destiny? Hold your breath and roll. How do you want to do this? It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our life. There is magic and mystery. Who knows what will happen? He might. For sure, we never give up on the fight. From the healer to the renegade, we all share the same goal. Adding more allies, taking more chances. Hold your breath and roll. We can certainly try. It's Thursday night. All ye critters, come join us. It's time to continue our play. From darkness our friendship will rise But one thing's for sure We never give up on the fight Oh, get ready It's Thursday And welcome back. So, last we left off, <laughs> Bell's Hells, after fighting and sneaking their way to the center of the Tishton excavation site, stepped upon the bloody bridge and found yourselves transported to the surface of the Red Moon of Ill Omen, Ruidus itself. Upon arriving, you used the still lingering spell from Keyleth the Erishar to transform into mist uh, once you had managed to escape a brief encounter in the center of the receiving encampment on the moon and managed to evade discovery long enough to escape over the windy and dust-covered landscape. Upon traveling and traversing to a region that seemed safe, you found a cavern where you could rest and collect your thoughts, and Imogen 
reached your mind out to try and connect to the weird drawing essence of the very moon that you stand on. In doing so, you seem to draw some attention, but learned some very important things. And as you now continue to seek information about what's happening here, what's important about it, who's responsible, and what you can bring back that might offer an advantage to all those that lie in wait on Exandria, you continued on through a storm, met some of the local wildlife from a distance, mm -hmm. and then settled down in a mountain nestled city or a village uh, where it seemed a lot of farm folk and livestock were being tended to, gathered in a very simple life. Still with a uh, Rylorn presence, some working, some walking with authority. But here in the shadow, five of your troop have traveled down into one of the uh, little farm sections, an offshoot of the village proper, uh, and began to transform back into your physical selves from the mist form within a storage structure of some kind. Uh, upon nearly completing your structure, uh, your, your transference, an entity walked in and noticed, about to squeal for a moment, you shouted towards it to stay quiet, and through a brief moment of uh, persuasion, the tension seems to have been abated or not crossed over into anything dangerous, as the uh, somewhat hulking-looking, kind of round-backed, uh, tree-trunk-like armed creature its hood kind of pulled up over its eyes, its cherub-like cheeks, its kind of uh, curled, uh, thin nostril-like elephant-type nose that kind of just, just pushes past the mouth, it looks up at you with dark eyes, and uh, is now quivering, asking you in common, <coughs> what, what, what are you doing? What, who are you? We're here to, f to help against the Ruby Vanguard. We're not with them. I, I don't want to get involved. I don't want anything to do. Are you Imperium? No. Yeah, we all are in. What is Imperium? <laughs> we're friends. We're, we're, don't worry, we're not here. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, smiley day to you. Um, uh, we're friends. We're not here to harm anyone. Uh, are you a friend of the Imperium? Are you friends of the Imperium? <laughs> oh boy, that's not shady. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, I, I think yes, it's, we are friends of the Imperium. Okay. Then we're, we're friend friends of yours. Of the friend of ours. <laughs> Wait. No, they're bad. Yeah, Wait, yeah the I know. Yes. Oh, Imperium's it's bad. Such a Friends of the Imperium, yes, but he's just saying that because he thinks that we're we're friends of the Imperium. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna d d wait. Let me see if I have the spell slot. <clears throat> Spells. Yes, I'm gonna detect thoughts. You're gonna detect thoughts? Mm -hmm. yes. Surface? Sure. All right. I just wanna see what he's thinking of about the Imperium. Okay, the immediate kind of uh, emotional <clears throat> journey that the surface of this, this creature's mind gives you is that of, of panic, fear, a hint of like curiosity. Um, but in their head, they're like, it's a test. A test, I think it's a test. If, if we said we are not friends of the Imperium, would you turn us in? Because if we said that. Oh, that sounds like a test. Feels like a test, too. That is a test. <laughs> of course, this immediately. Is a test. We, look, we're ridiculous. <laughs> we hate the Imperium. All right, let's just be out with it. You are dressed like the friends of the Imperium. No, we're not. We don't like them. We have to sneak in because they're everywhere. So this is how we got in. We're here to take them down. I have to turn you in. No, 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 no. You no, don't no, have no, to. No, no, no. Wait, am I ever, was I? To... Yeah, you're here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <Bye. laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, we can figure that out later. Would it be okay just to have a conversation for, I mean, like, just because we're a little no, confused. No, 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 listen, listen. Confused. I don't know what you're talking to your chest right now. I don't know if you're, like, alerting somebody about something. But. <laughs> Listen. Yes. Listen. No, you don't have to say yes. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Yes? We are not friends of the Imperium, okay? We're here to just, to just scope things out and, and, and trying to get answers, but we're not friends with the Imperium, but we really can't, we really don't want to alert them that we're here. Yeah, we're trying to help you. 
Okay. You see, kind of looks down at his chest again. Uh, make a persuasion check for me, friend. His chest. What is he, what is he looking, looking at? at? Can I see what he's looking at? Make a pers- uh, perception check. This is like can I aid in her and like, by but taking I'm still, out? I'm still detecting his thoughts. So would I have? Okay. Can, can I aid her by using the monocle of true essence? You and, and I are you floating are up in the sky. Oh, balls! Itty bitty clouds. <laughs> which I maybe I did this a week ago. I can't remember. I want to make sure that everything's quiet on the lunar front and see if any anyone else is coming. Oh, is there any problem? Oh, yeah, we were sure. We were talking. Did you say persuasion? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Fourteen. Talked, very Fourteen. Talked. Okay. I'm also <laughs> looking around the room for other exits or anything sort of odd in here. Uh, Certainly, it's a perception you can use as well. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 21 for perception to see what he's looking at. Okay. Uh, you see something kind of shifting underneath the cowl that's kind of put over the shifting. shoulders, like there's movement over here. Like he's got a creature in like his pocket? Or a, sec- a third arm or something. Like a- I rolled a 23 just to he's look around the area. Quaid. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Looking around, oh, the the only real exit is the entrance where you all and this figure came in. You don't see. There's no windows here. It's just a, it's a it's a it's a sizable storage shed, but it is just a storage shed with no other discernible exit. Um, the uh, yeah, you see something moving here, and as looking at you, you see this like. Co- Conflict in its in its expression. Its its thick brows are like turned upward and kind of a a, a knotted bit of, of being caught in their own decision making process. It's okay. It's okay. What what this to do? And you see as a kind of. Can I hear any kind of distress in their brain? Uh, you you hear distress and you hear like, oh, it's too young, it's too young, and you hear this kind of faint noise go. And you and you see the 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 figure kind of like ah, uh, I need to talk to someone. I I. Wait wait, wait 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 wait. Kill him. Wait. <laughs> Please, we just want to have a conversation, well, and then we'll leave, and you will. Where's this person you want to talk to? Imperium. No oh. no 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 no. No. What I? Please, our lives are depending on you. If you if you turn us in, they'll kill us. What's your name? I, I, I don't know. Don't do, know. Don't don't. You don't, don't know. know? Or do you don't know. Don't, don't know. know. Don't 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 know. Wait. Um, I am going to um, stand by, stand by. Um, what are you yelling for? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to um, create just a little flower, just a little druid craft. Oh, nice. A little nice, flower. Nice. This is really smart. Um, you know, with a beautiful lavender calming scent, but it's just a beautiful purple flower. Okay. You create the flower and kind of. He's like backing away, like still holding the kind of the glowing amulet he had procured, and kind of like stops, kind of looks at it. For you, if you want it. In his head, you're like, it's just too many, too many tests. I don't want to fail it. Like, oh no! I'm trying to give him a present. There you go. Big old meaty fingers, like it's like ah, it's, takes it carefully and then kind of moves it down, and you watch as underneath the robes, these two what you didn't see. A much smaller additional set of folded arms that are like right in the sternum area kind of come out with these long, thin, very dexterous fingers that kind of grab the flower and begin to kind of turn it over in its uh, face as it kind of glances. Um, The bigger ones more not suited for delicate maneuverability. As it kind of looks at it, you hear that weird babbling again. The cloak kind of shifts oh a bit, God. and you watch as this uh, small, almost like a like an iguana-like humanoid kind of crawls out from underneath and up the smaller arms, long, like thin, almost almost fey-like ears. At first glance, it looks almost like an imp, but it's uh, it's thick scaled hide uh, and it's like thin body, uh, it's, it's thin limbs as it crawls along uh, <coughs> deftly. Uh, it also looks weirdly adorable. Its eyes have this kind of gold shimmer to it, and it kind of curls up along the, the smaller arms and kind of looks at the flower and starts like chewing on it. It's like, no, I'm, no, not, okay. not, 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 not
Oaks okay? Yeah, if he needs a snack. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure. I'm going to cast tongues on myself just so I can understand <laughs> if, if that creature murmurs again. Okay. Is this your... Uh, it's, it's, it, who is this? This is... This is Kane. Kane? Yeah. I have a, a little pet too. Would you like to meet him? Oh, okay. How are you? Can I, I reach in the bag and I pull out pate? Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> shut up. <laughs> like backs up the creature, like <laughs> curls up and takes You don't have to immediately talk. You pick up the babbling. It's not language. Oh, it's just babbling. Oh, oh it's a baby. Okay, I'll relay that to my we're, friends. We're clearly not from around here. Uh, if that isn't you are, uh, you are dreamers, yes? Dreamers. dreamers. I do. Dream? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? You, you are, you are dreamers. I, I. Is that what they call them here? You're, you're not, you're not with Imperium. You promise? Oh no, we don't know what that is. I mean, we know what the Imperium I mean, you, you is. You can we don't see, I'm just pulling the We're wearing really, not Imperium stuff under this. This is, yeah, no. Like reaches out, big, thick, kind of. Calloused fingers kind of yeah. rub against the material and kind of. Oh. It's new. I, I, I pull out my <laughs> membership card for the Dreamscape Theater in Drusar. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't have any identification, but look, see, this is this is where we're from. We're from a place called Drusar. Small arms kind of grab it, and the little creature kind of curls up a little bit to inspect it, and start nibbling on that too. So stop eating. I want to keep flour. I've not seen one before. <laughs> Can I have my membership card back? It oh, oh, yeah. gives yes, us like course, VIP access. Thank you so much. There. Thank there, you. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Wow. Um, yeah. We're not supposed to talk to the dreamers when they come through. Um, How often do they come through? Not often. M more in past weeks, but. The, Recently, not many. Are, are dreamers just not from around here? Is that what you? Dreamers are from the. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is really, this is very neat. I mean, <laughs> I've not met a dreamers. Talked to them before. I, I'm Imogen. Imogen. I don't know. I told you that already. Yes. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Um, and this is Kane. This is Kane. Kane. Goes, <laughs> Kane, be friend. I think you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> he <crawls> back in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kane is still still a baby. It's my sight. My my sight? Saita. Oh Saita. Is, is that what is that what they're called? Yes. We, we, I I am I am we we are Bormodos. Bormodos. It's people of the land. Tor, 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 Bormodos. 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 And every Bormodo uh, bonds with the Saita and, uh, at a young age. And uh, I lost my last Saita, so this is new Saita. Oh. But it's very young, so I'm still teaching them. They're mm -hmm. very um, rambunctious, <laughs> is the word, right? Do Saita get bigger, or do they stay that size? Or? They, get, they get bigger. And you see those hands, you're like, boop. Oh, wow. <laughs> First sight I've ever seen, and Bormodo uh, as well. This is this is new. How, how do you connect with them, and what do they do? They uh, they help clean us. Oh. They help keep watch. They have they kind they just kind of are there to be companion and uh, look out, and they uh, we keep them warm, and we feed them scraps. And it is, wow, what is the word? It is um, sim symbiotic. Symbiotic. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. How do you, how do you speak the language that we speak? Well, many of us learn through your dreams. Through our dreams? Oh, yeah. So Can you can hear see? and see us when we dream? Well, it, As we've been experienced and told, we, we do not dream, we dream yours. Oh. 
you are the dreamers and and when when we go to rest we 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 get to witness your dreams wow the good ones and the bad ones yeah is it all different people's dreams that you experience, yeah, or just or you a one person? Yeah, into one person. Yeah. No, it it depends. Sometimes it's, and you see this kind of wistful look come over uh, the eyes of Dono. It's, it's, it's sometimes it's very beautiful. It's like getting to see all these little stories every night. Some that's that's amazing. Do you ever? I'm just so curious. Do you? I mean, I, I'm suddenly feeling a little embarrassed. Yeah, by some I mean, of my I've, I've been, I've I've been none, sort of poking none. around in dreams myself <laughs> with a lot of these dreamers, and some of them are a, a little disturbing, and some of them are a little bit like not safe for work. Like, <laughs> you see this like <laughs> like this odd purplish tint begin to rise to the <laughs> cheeks of donors. Like. The dreamers have a very vivid imagination. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't recognize any of us, do you? Do you, do you tap into our dreams? I don't, I don't believe so. <gasps> okay. So sometimes we just walk through, uh, dreamers just come through, do, they, we, do we even know that you're there? Do, do we normally acknowledge or talk to anybody? I, I have not experienced, I, oh. <laughs> I, I'm but simple farm folk. Um, I, if, you, if you want to know more of that philosophical elements, you better in Capital City. Where is the Capital City? The capital City is, uh, uh, I've not been there, uh, but uh, the... It's one kilometer away. Yes. Uh, it, no, it, is, it is not a kilometer away. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, city is called Creviris. Creviris. Creviris of it is what the uh, Cre- Creviris Imperium is capital that. Oh. Um, I have not visited, but the elder has been Who's when they were young. Oh, the elder of your town, of your village. One of them. I I can take I can take you to speak to Elder Barthi. We would love that. If, before we go, um, uh, sh- we, we there's a couple more of us who exist. And might just appear at some point. Also, not Imperium. No, not definitely Imperium. not. That would be Even weird. less Imperium than us. Um, <laughs> and also, do you need anything? Do you need help with any? You're a farmer. What do you? What do you farm? Is there anything we could do to help to show that we are 100% on your side? Actually, what do you farm? I'm really curious. I will turn you into the Imperium. Imperium. What? Oh. Wait, 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 why? I just had to check. Oh. oh. It might still have been a trick. I don't know. Oh, I've think, not done this before. I think the rule is, I think the rule <laughs> is if you ask Imperium if they are Imperium, they have to, by law, tell you that they are. Don't oh. tell people that, because I don't think they really So if do. you ask us, and we say, <laughs> we say no, then you can believe it. Are you oh. a dark? All right. <laughs> What's interesting is you, you, you watch you watch through a lot of the communication, like the really small arms at the front, they're very expressive now that he's becoming more comfortable. And like as it talks, they kind of like open and react and curl up and like kind of frame the cheeks a little bit. It's like having this this little additional form of physical expression that's usually tucked and hidden within the cloak. Well, um or bring you you could bring more, just be quiet and don't I please don't say I I helped. I think we're How many of the um of the um, R- R- Lawrence, I, you probably don't call them that he, he, here. The locals? Yeah, the, the tall. Yeah, the the Ray R- 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 Lawrence. Oh, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> how R- many R- of them are in this city, in this town? I th- maybe a few dozen, maybe more. They, we have we have former Ray R- Lawrence as well, those who help with the uh, course, those who help with the evidence, so those who help together. Oh, the, Is that those, those big creatures that are out there, those beasts of burden? Do the, the, the Wukors they have the many horns? Do Wukors? Wukors. They have all the many horns. And they run straight into the into the dust storm. I don't know how they do that, but that was really impressive. They're very big. Wow. Horns? Wukors. 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 Wukor. Wukors. Wukors. W U U K O R. Oh. oh and how much, in, how much of the Imperium is in this city? We're trying to keep a little, we don't want to get in trouble. They're right now probably about 
about a dozen okay. or so Imperium. They're pretty relaxed, all things considered. Or? No, it's been pretty intense as of late. There's some left recently, uh, three days ago. There's been a lot of movement, and they've been pushing for us to produce double amounts in recent month. Amounts of of materials, of of, of training Avadons, of uh, What's an Avadon? Avadon is uh, it is beast for burden, but also can is trained as a war mount for the. Uh, oh yes, yes, yes. I think did we, we see those. those. Wait, no, the, I, I think those are the dogs. Buffaloes are the dogs that yeah. came so in. So Avadons are the, the dog thing? Are they yes. the, the, the big, are they, they look like deadless dogs. Yes, no, that is That's an Avadon. We, we use them for hunting, uh, usually, but there are more and more of them needed to be uh, given over to the dominion of Kruth, so. Who do you, who do you train the them to, to kill? Kruth? Well, we, or you just train them to be mounted and like? Well, we, we train them to hunt with us. There are uh, Veskal, which is the, the storm-riding winged beasts. Uh, they are all manner of small uh, critters that uh, we use for food and or pelts uh, to keep warm when the cold storms come through. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you are so... <laughs> Uh, fascinating to talk to. We love it. We want to keep going, but we don't want to get you in trouble. So, if you're going to march us somewhere, do we need to cloak ourselves or or make ourselves I mean, look? If, uh, if we took blended? a minute. We could all just vanish and then follow you to the elders, and then you would warn them that we would be appearing. Uh, but we could get there undetected if we so desire. Your 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 elders are they against the Imperium as well? I I, I don't know. Prob I'm a little nervous about meeting anyone else. For El fear. Elder Barthi is very nice and would, would be to who I trust. Barthi? Barthi do, does not speak in hushed tongues about frustration with recent uh, pressures. Um, okay. Known me since I was, I was a small. If he, if he trusts him, or yeah, they but trust him. The Ralorans tend to read thoughts. I'm sure you know that. But if he knows more about the capital city, like that might be worth. I just don't, I don't want know get, trusts him. I know. I just don't want to get them in trouble. The more people that are, this is all in our brains, as mm -hmm. we're saying. The more people that are exposed to us, the more people we put at risk. I'll yeah, see. but like. But it's worth it. Yeah, we are here on a mission for God. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Would your elders? be open for council tonight? Uh, maybe. I could go look. We've we've definitely put most of our uh, livestock to rest for the night, other than the uh, the shadow hunters out with their mounts. Um, well, I can look into... So you're throwing so much well, vocabulary at us. You've got so much lore, so, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll turn invisible well, again, we'll and we'll wait out. We'll follow you. Well, we can follow and wait outside, and then and then we can just wave, and then we'll can come in and appear. Do if we you need to. happen to know when when the dreamers started coming here for the first time? It was, was that too long ago? It was not. It was like a number of weeks back, a couple months a maybe. Well, it's, it's not long. No. Mm. Maybe the first time we got Rude is close enough to Alexandria. How did you know that you were dreaming our dreams? Uh, that is, that is what the weave mind tells us. The weave mind? Lore, lore, lore. Who is the weave mind? The weave mind are the, the masters of the Imperium. Masters. They are the ones that connect us to the dream, that connect us to the, the one who sleeps. Pradatha sleeps. That's Pradatha's. Do, do, do you know who sleeps? That's what they say. I, uh, That's what they say. Did you ever hear about the one who sleeps prior to? Um, it's not my business. I just focus on my work. Okay. I think I have, I have a question. Avadons. Is there anything that can make them lose focus? Do you know of any like sense that they don't like or? Uh, it, loud noises tend to spook them, and they can become unruly. Um, I know that while we have to keep them calm through 
they have places on the shoulders where it's uh, sensitive to where uh, with right uh, uh, petting they can become docile or ready to eat. It's how we keep them under control um, for training purposes. The Rylora, however, uh, they can they can get into the uh, Avadon's head mm-hmm. and um, directly control at times, depending. Sorry, we're doing a lot of notes. I'm yeah, sorry. Sorry, sorry. How how far away is the elder? Is it like across the way or down the down the oh, path? It's or? Closer to the center of the uh, outpost. This is Rezora. Um, Rezora. Well, this is the town. Welcome to Rezora. <laughs> <laughs> Rezora, Rezora outpost. Um, Rez- Rez- well, I think I think we should do this. I think let's <laughs> let's uh, vanish and then we'll follow. So we'll just we're gonna slowly disappear, and then we will follow you to the to the elder's house, and then once you give the signal, we'll come in and appear. Very well. I think that's a good plan. This yeah, is a good yeah, plan. Yeah. We're mean, gonna yeah. just turn into a dream for a second, mm-hmm. and then we'll we'll un, we'll but, but come back. We'll be able to see you. Can I watch? Mm-hmm. I'm just kind of stands there looking at you all. <laughs> 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 Wow. Bye. It's Bye. very impressive. Bye, Kate. <laughs> yeah, pulls the hood forward a little bit, like sets the uh, the dangling amulet down for a bit and turns around. You can see, like, as you kind of begin to drift out and around, you can see this, this squat, like, lumbering mountain of a, of, a, of a creature kind of does the best it can to kind of hop and heel click. <laughs> With excitement before heading back towards the doorway and slowly opening it and stepping out, the wind kind of blowing past a bit, the dust kind of plumes pushing by. That was <laughs> um, do we see? Do we see Chetney and Orum floating around? Uh, it's hard to see where they are at a first glance in the space, sure, but sure, sure. upon communication, you can quickly kind of <laughs> uh, communicate. We're gonna go meet the elders. What? Or an elder. There's an elder we're meeting. This guy's really nice. His name is Dono. But he does know a lot, which is pretty cool. And we're in Rizora. It's the name of this outpost. Yeah. Yeah, there's a sign right over there that says Rizora. <laughs> oh, <outpost>. shit! Yeah. <laughs> the population don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. Yeah. All right. Are we following him? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Subtly. <laughs> you can see now throughout the. Uh, the evening village, there are a number of figures that kind of just walk patrol through the various walkways, carrying uh, these lanterns that are like like a blue spherical uh, glass that just kind of like maintains a steady, almost magical light source around it. Um, there's not a lot of torch or firelight out here, probably because the heavy winds would scatter and put things out rather rapidly. Um, but you can hear like the shifting of the Wukors, of other you know, smaller creatures and such that are kind of put off into small paddocks and uh, areas to kind of bundle up and sleep for the night. So it's kind of, it's still a little quiet. There's a little bit of life to it, but usually just people finishing up their work for the day or just keeping eyes out. You follow past a number of these other dome-like mud and rock homesteads and structures, uh, watching the kind of slightly swaying gait of Dono as he just looks around, uh, kind of glancing in the sky around, keeping an eye out for where you might be, and kind of looks over and gets lost for a second before remembering what he's doing and continues on the path. Um, You watch as one Rylorn comes by and you can see it's just wearing standard rough and tumble work clothes and it kind of just gives a nod. Uh, Dono gives a nod back and walks by, uh, continues past kind of a, a small, what looks like what would be like a, a trade square, where there are a number of collapsed tents and tables, not in use at the moment, uh, moves around the left-hand side of that square towards a cluster of three larger buildings that kind of sit next to each other, like a, like a massive ellipses. Um, stepping up around it, you can see another a uh, pair of Ly- Ryloran come by, one that uh, is smaller than the juggernauts you've encountered, but definitely more muscular than some of the others you've seen, and is well-armored, these kind of uh, metallic 
shoulder pauldrons that kind of scoop up into these large spikes. And you can see chains that kind of dangle from edge to edge. And they have uh, uh, the, the kind of bony crest of their head itself is adorned with a similar chain as uh, one of the ones that you had previously met uh, through summoning before. And you can see Dono kind of keep a wider berth to keep around as they kind of, kind of glance over and just keep walking. Um, eventually Dono circles around towards the center of those three larger buildings and kind of comes up at the door and looks around to see if he sees you. And it takes him a good solid minute or so before he can kind of find the, the wisps of dust cloud that aren't going anywhere. Can I ask a question? Yeah. So if we're spending minutes, at least minutes, sort of floating overhead and looking down. A couple questions. One, yeah. what's the ratio of Dano's to Rylorans to... Bormodos. Bormodos, thank you. You don't see many Bormodos out at this time. Mm -hmm. uh, many of them seem to have gone into their homes. And you can see within all the homes, there's kind of uh, either dull firelight inside crackling uh, or similar light sources like that pale blue that you saw before. Um, there's maybe maybe about three dozen figures that you see throughout this entire village total that are currently out and about moving. Some of them are like carrying the last of their workload for the day. Some of them appear to be uh, not unlike the Rylorn that you just saw in the process of just keeping watch, making sure that nothing untoward is going on. Okay. Um, but when you first came down into the town and got a quick glance as you were kind of looking over, uh, this town's probably 75% Bormodo at least. Okay. Uh, but there were working Rylorn as well. Okay, and then follow-up questions. Looking at these two, which look like sort of guards or uh, warriors of some kind, using the fighter ability, know your enemy. Uh, can I ask if their total class levels are lower than Orum's, and if their armor class are lower than Orum's? Those are the two traits that I'm assessing. Their total class level? It's, yeah, total class level, in comparison to Orum's. Right. Uh, in comparison to Orem's, they're a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. They're not. They're not. They're no pushover, but you you do not see them as seasoned soldiers. Okay. You know, you could. You don't feel threatened by them to a degree. You just know it, it would be work. And Orem's AC is nineteen. AC is lower. AC right? is lower. Lower. And then the last question: What kind of attitude do those warriors have towards the Bormodos around them? That's not a feature or anything. I'm just trying to see if like. Are they chill together? Is it antagonistic? Make an inside check. Yeah. <sighs> Terrible. Uh, that is uh, a two plus three. <laughs> Hard to tell a night when you're a fart. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, <clears throat> it's hard at night being a fart. <laughs> <laughs> Dono comes to the back of the large kind of dome structure, and you can see it. It like. At a, at a distance, it looks just like one massive kind of rock mud dome. As you get closer to it, you can see there's like scalloped edges with window, uh, kind of circle window holes and portals that themselves have bits of uh, glass that's a little warped and natural in its shape that kind of fits into the window spots. Uh, you can see there are like strips, like banners of painted art or some sort of flags or decoration that brings a little color to the exterior. These particular buildings have a little more of uh, an aesthetic to them than what you've encountered on the outskirts of the village. You uh, watch as Dono kind of eventually makes eyes towards your group, kind of nods, looks around nervously, kind of leans out against the wall, <laughs> looks around. Flex, flex, smooth. <laughs> Real smooth. Leans in, and one of the small hands goes, Waits, <laughs> looks back at the rest of you. He's a really good spy. Yeah, he's really doesn't look obvious. You hear a sound of shifting chain. He's good. The door opens nope. slightly, and you see a figure uh, kind of just frame in shadow as the door opens. Uh, a similar sort of a hunched shape, uh, not able to make out much detail, and. Dono kind of talks for a moment. The tiny hands get together and kind of tap nervously. <laughs> the big arms kind of come together and tap nervously in a much slower way. He's got small hands coming out of his chest. Yes, it's, he does. It's, 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 it
<laughs> Slowly the door opens a little further, and you can see the figure kind of lean out for a minute. And you can see in the other hand, they have like a large, gnarled stick, it looks like, that they're kind of leaning on. And they kind of glance out, and you watch Sono go and point up to all of you. And the creature just takes the staff and knocks him in the head, and is like, I break for the open door. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. Okay. Dono kind of lumbers mm. in, and all of you kind of kind of shift into the interior. Casually, though. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I move into the lungs of the elder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so heading, it was a test. <laughs> heading into the interior of this chamber, uh, you can see. This kind of low light, these 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 kind of candle-like lanterns that are lit, and uh, give this you get the smell of of unique spices that you've never really smelled before. There's almost like a sweetness to the air, but it also meets a, a, a charcoal-like burnt scent that creates this this incense-like aesthetic on the inside. You can see there are all these wide, squat tables that have been uh, carved from stone and other materials that you can't quite make out what the, the source may have been. Uh, there are a number of heavy, look almost like uh, like chairs that can also be beds, like they're kind of in a heavy recline position and they're thick with like uh, like heavy woven material that's put over them and, and cushions. Um, you can see there's kind of a, a, a unique looking tea kettle that almost seems to like curl upward in a spiral before a spout stops. And uh, there's a little flame beneath that that's kind of burning, and a number of these uh, little like metal cups that are like these massive metal cups that kind of come to a small domed bottom that are kind of set around this table. And uh, you watch as the two of them kind of shuffle over towards the sides of the table. Uh, Dono's like, "Do we, uh, is it okay to, for you to, to meet my friends?" And uh, the elder kind of turns around. You can see the long, stringy elements of kind of like gray white hair that kind of tumble and tangle out from underneath their hood as they kind of pull it back. And you can see they have a very similar uh, facial structure to Dono, but much older. You can see the wrinkles are very deep set. You can almost not see the eyes. They're so deeply pushed back. Uh, and as they turn around to look at Dono, there's a very stark intensity to their expression that then immediately as it curls into a smile, like melts away into the most grandfatherly like expression you've seen. Um, this uh, figure uh, kind of sets the staff down to the side on the table and goes, uh, Well, yes, you can uh, have them apparate whenever that uh, seems appropriate. Okay. Is anyone going yeah. first, or are we doing it all at the same time? Oh my, that's, that's... <laughs> Oh, all at once, huh? Quite a, quite a majestic arrival of your, your friends here, don't know. Uh, wow, very wild. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Hello. We've got a really big moon here. Yeah. <laughs> Where, well, what's your name? Your... Well, uh, uh, dreamers, friends from the world beyond. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. I am your humble elder Barthi. The honor is mine. <laughs> I believe you've met Dono. Yes. Well, thank you, uh, Dono, for your time. You can sit down for a second. Um, oh my God. <laughs> anyway, I guess we know whose dreams he's been invading. <laughs> <laughs> if I might ask, before things get too hairy. What can you give me assurances that you are indeed aligned with the Imperium? I mean, have you ever seen the Imperium turn into mist and? No, but we've seen a lot of really wild things <laughs> as of late, so. Uh, Wait, did you uh, say that we thing. are aligned yes, with the Imperium? No, or not? that to make sure we're not. No, no, no. The Open up that bag of holding. Oh, I'll reach yeah. out and pull oh, out the yeah. line. That's a good proof. The head of That's a good proof. <laughs> Immediately, you watch him kind of reel, like, no, no, close that window. 
<laughs> and that one, and that one, and that one. <laughs> I use thaumaturgy to just no. go. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> Listen to us. That's uh, extremely, uh, extremely disturbing. I would. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad we ended up keeping that. That was a good idea. It's already coming to I'm sure that's part of many years. Yeah. All right, so you're uh, you're dreamers. <laughs> it's gonna take ten minutes to settle into this, Matt. <laughs> Dream to some, nightmare to others. Hmm. Now look, I've been working in this Imperium for the majority of my life, and that's uh, I'm no pushover. So uh, you brought in a dead uh, Rylor and Juggernaut. That's quite impressive feat, I say so. But uh, what's your business here? What are you doing? What do you want? What can we possibly offer you if you're so powerful enough to traverse that weird red beam and just show up on my doorstep? We don't know anything about this place. Mm -hmm. Your history, your lives, the differences between the folk that are here. Mm. Yeah, you've been... Um, Hearing and learning about us through our dreams, I guess, for a long time now, but we we didn't even know you existed until just a few weeks ago. Yeah, you're a mystery to us and everyone. I always wondered, I wondered if you, uh, if any of our experiences got through to you like a trade, but I guess that's not how Maybe things work. Maybe for some people. I mean, obviously we don't speak for everyone on Exandria. How, how did you know you weren't dreaming your dreams. Because you know sometimes you have dreams and you're like, I don't even know who I was, I don't even know where I was. Well, they don't, they don't, I don't know if they know that. We, oh. We're told at a very, very young age uh, that told. that's how things are. And you know, when, you, when you've been dreaming for the majority of your life and nothing in it seems to reflect your own personal life experiences, I don't know, it's as lonely as it is beautiful. Hmm. You maybe know about our world, then. You must. We have guesses, we have fables we tell, we have all manner of interesting interpretations that we spread between ourselves and cold nights and talk of theories, but even that's kind of a, a dangerous route of conversation in public places these days, so. We'll consider this a, an exchange of information, then. We, we'd love to learn about this place from you, and we'll answer any questions about our our, our home. No, we're not some rogue faction. We, we represent a, actually a much larger contingent of people that are against the Ruby Vanguard and everything they're doing up here, including the Imperium. Well, I cannot uh, confirm or speak to any sort of uh, disloyalty that I hold towards the Imperium. Of course not. Of course, yeah, yeah. We wouldn't expect that. Not outwardly. But I would be happy to give you some tea. <laughs> Please give us all the tea. I'm 400 years old. Is that is he being literary, or what, what does that mean? But also, I would love to try like literal tea, because I'm sure it's something that we've never tried before. Let me go ahead and get another batch going. That go. sounds. <laughs> Like something else is, is going. Mm. I feel like sound he's like going to cut the commercial. Pull you right back. Kind of lumbers back over to the table, and you watch from underneath the robe, another secondary set of long, thin oh, yeah, yeah. hands kind of emerge and begin pulling and uh, opening jars and shifting and taking bits of like an odd, uh, kind of kind of dried, loose leaf looking uh, tea and kind of kind of. Putting together a combination between multiple jars into the base of this spiraling piece, um, while looking over the shoulder, and you can see like movement beneath the hood. Oh, he's got um, a sight. This is this is Elder Bartha, correct? Uh, Barthi. 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 So you're uh, you're just here to learn, just just on a mission of. Uh, Information to broaden your horizons, right? Huh? A little bit. Uh, how how long have the um, Imperium, you know, neither against or for them, how long have they sort of been uh, ex exerting their influence over this area? Well, the uh, Imperium's been pushing around here for uh, well, about well over about 
500 or so years. Wait, that's a... A minute. <clears throat> How long do your people yeah. usually live? How old are you not to be rude? Ah, uh, oh, well, Jesus. I s stopped counting the real specifics when I hit about 300, so uh, oh. I've been around quite a while. Oh. Yeah, that is. Shit. Were you, were you here? Here. I mean, according to our understanding of things, Rudius, uh, Rudi, Rudi was not always he Rudius. here. Rudius was not always here. Rudi. I am just thrown. No. Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't do it. No. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it. Oh, it's so close. Like, <laughs> to coming out of my mouth. I know. It just fucking. Mm. Sorry. What are you saying? <laughs> Were you here when when this happened? When when the the moon was formed? Happened. Yeah. yeah. We have a. That's our understanding. Is this place was created? It wasn't always here. That's like a hundred eight hundred. Or are there stories about it? Or <laughs> no, as, I mean, as far as we understand, we've been here as long as it's been here, and it's always kind of been here. What's the, your origin story? Your myths? Mm. Uh, we were all carved from the very rock of this moon at the will of the one who sleeps, and shaped in to be a reflections of the dreams that we were then given windows into. So uh, that's kind of what we've been told for a long time. Is your history here uh, oral history? Or are there writings, do you know? There were writings, but they've been mostly long destroyed. By yeah. the Imperium. By the Weave Mind and their various communal sects. They have communal sects. <laughs> Wait, this place is amazing. Where is that? We learned so much. Tenth fact finding mission on the moon. Tenth fact finding mission on the moon. Hold on, let's just let this play out. Um, Weird, wild stuff. The dreamers to you, the dreamer, we got to get it down to more specifics, but just on a still, on like a broader level, the dreamers to you, we're not like gods or anything. We're just sort of curiosities, interesting. We're, it seems like we're crucial to the um, the sort of phil philosophy of this place, but or religion, or up until as of late, uh, and this is kind of a point of contention in some of our uh, more periphery societies, which this would be considered one by some of the more uh, uh, civilized folk. Uh, we looked up to that great, beautiful blue ball in the sky as the eventual afterlife we'd go to. And the dreams that we see of the dreamers, the spirits that give us visions of what would await us. Um, and they started walking through here in recent weeks, and uh, well, there's been a bit of a crisis of faith, I guess you could say. Understandably. Were we like ghosts, or just walking through physically, or? No, this is people coming this to visit. This is definitely people coming this to visit. This is lewdness. Pull. Yeah, damn. The weave mind, in your 300 years, have you ever interfaced with the weave mind? Communicated with, seen? I certainly hope not, and if I have, maybe I can't remember. Oh. Um, the weave mind is a, Council of ex extremely old and powerful Rhyloran mystics that themselves kind of act as a, a conduit to the mind of the one who sleeps. They're the ones that usher the flares. They're the ones that control the city. They're the ones that tell us the design that we must follow, and if we speak up, we become fairly pliable rapid wow. afterwards, so. The, the, the one who sleeps. Um, what, do you, what, do you, what do you all call the one who sleeps? Just the one who sleeps? Or is there a name? We colloquially refer to it as the one who sleeps. Um, that's what most of the mythology is based around. 
I've had a few conversations with friends who live in various places around here and uh, closer to the main city, and uh, there's a few other names. They refer to it as the, uh, the Beating Heart. They refer to it as uh, the Dream Keeper. They keep uh, a specific name that is not to be said publicly under fear of Imperium questioning torture or disappearance, and that is... Uh, Does it start with a P? I think you know the name already. Do <clears throat> your lore, do your stories ever um, talk about what would happen if the, the one who sleeps were to wake? Looks over at Dono, who's kind of like wide-eyed listening to all this, and goes, Most folks live outside of Graviris. They live simple lives with simple interests and simple, simple beliefs. At a certain point, the complication becomes a, a challenging decision point. It's easier to just ignore it and go with what feels right and natural. Mm -hmm. That ignorance is comfortable. Uh, but the belief is that these dreams are promises. That one day, one day we'd all be able to step away from this harsh land and step over to where the dreamers are. I want you to be able to do that. Not in the afterlife, but in this one. Mm. There's a path. It goes both ways. I worry if most of our folk are even ready for such a transition. Maybe there's some who are, but we've got we've got some sociological challenges here in our home world. It would be a strange awakening for folks back where we come from to know about all this. Now well, we've seen a lot of what you've all seemed to be dreaming of. The colors and spellbinding majesties that surround you. The endless rolling mountainscapes and winding river falls and so much wanton bloodshed. And to be honest, I'm not certain it's all that's been promised to us either, but I also can't deny that I have a distinct curiosity. <laughs> so, um... Well, it's not all bad, and Orm will start growing over the next 30 seconds or so different blooms that are specific, any colors that I have not seen present on this world or in this room that would seem rare or unusual to... Mm. to Barthy, and I'll just start laying them on the ground in front of them. Hmm. Lorna gets out a handful of ball bearings, puts those on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are very, very nice. The floor <laughs> isn't level here. <laughs> All the things you were going to pull out of your pocket, I that was so low on my list of possibilities. Telekinetically pulling the ball bearings back together so we can form a little pile. Like a little magnet. Yeah. As we were traveling in, we noticed that this area seems to have a fair amount of agriculture. It looks like you're working the land and 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 livestock. What are those bloody buffalo called? Wukors. Wukors. Can I ask what uh, what you produce here and what the Ryloran want with it? Well, we're one of a number of outposts, you could call them. Uh, once sovereign villages that are part of the Imperium and have been for generations. We are capable and uh, well-versed in turning the land into livable space. We gather materials that are edible. We train beasts and uh, use them for their meat, their hides, their milk. Use them to carry and build and we have a special connection with many beasts of the land here. 
Uh, in some ways, ones the Rylorans do not. So we're useful. You were uh, impressed by the, he said, Juggernaut's head that came out of our bag. How copacetic are things between you and the Rylorin who are here? Well, many of us do what we've always done and don't want to cause any sort of trouble. So, uh, <clears throat> there are many that are friends, many who are just trying to get by like the rest of us. And there are those that come over here from uh, Graviris and carry the will of the Weave Mine and the uh, Dominion, any of the various politicians of the Tectus, and just tell us what we have to do and how soon we have to do it. Politicians of the Tectus, you said? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. The Tectus. Is that in the Dominion of Kuth? Dominion of Kuth is their military Kruth. wing. That's where many of these more militaristic watch guards come from. Kraviri is possibly where we would find them. The Rylorans have always been here as long as the Bormodos have? We've all carved together at the same time in history. And are there any other um, peoples? peoples? Or is it just the Rylorans and the the Bormodos. The Bormodos. The Bormodos. There are a number of different folks that live all throughout the layers of Ruidus. Um, Kerviris is only the top half of the city is really visible here in the landscape. Much of it, and much of the societies before even myself are carved through the moon. That's where most of the farming takes place. See, the topsoil farmers like us, we work under the harshest of conditions. Now the uh, subterranean mongol farmer network, that's where the majority of the society's food comes from. And, and, and are there any openings to the subterranean? What did you call it? What kind of network? The fungal network. Fungal. How far fungal reaching. Network. I mean, fungal networks are Pretty spectacular. We have those where we're from, too. I assume that might be the case. How, how do you get down there? Well, you have to venture through any of the various uh, Carveran gates, um, the majority of which are within the capital city. The Most city. others have been closed and uh, prevented from being as easily accessible. So none around these parts. Yeah. Not anymore. Um, so where, where do they say that that the Dreamkeeper sleeps, just like in the center of this moon? It's kind of where we've assumed for a long time. They've said it kind of sits as the the beating heart yeah. of the land. We've asked you so many questions. We have a few more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you some questions? Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, sure, yeah. What? What does what does a pastry taste like? Oh my oh gosh! Boy. Oh, we have some. We you do actually. I I I I cooked. Some, I baked some this morning, and then we also probably have some in the bag. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whip them out. Do you want to try one of these? Uh, are you serious? You you have some with you? That's amazing. I wasn't well, expecting some things quite so uh, immediately available. What are we What are we, what are we good for if we're not a dreamer? <laughs> Do you taste in your dreams? <laughs> what, what we assume might be, and the, the small hams kind of reach out, and as one of them kind of grabs an element of the baked good. Oh my god. Eat it in character. <laughs> Eat it in character. <laughs> <laughs> right as he grabs it, okay. something lightning fast leaps from underneath no. the like bead dangled hood and, and shawl that sits over the elder's shoulders, and you see a, a larger Saita with what looks to be this kind of uh, curved tail that curls up from the back into like a, a tight spiral. Um, reaches out and grabs it and pulls it back and like starts munching on it rapidly. The other goes like, what did you, you need to stop and share there. <clears throat> Sorry, Chew's a very uh, uppity <laughs> entity. Oh, yes, oh. let's go. Let's go. 
Shout out Choo. Shout out Choo. After a bit of a. What's up, Choo? A uh, bit of a crackling bite and uh, uh, gnawing on this, uh, like leftover piece of bait good, kind of passes it over to the elder and looks back at the rest of you. Okay, so what you doing here? What's oh, the plan? You just coming in here and bothering you with the talk? elder? I heard everything you said. I heard every single thing you've said, and I'm not convinced. That you're not a severe danger to all of us. That's, that's very fair. Yeah. 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 We're welcome we open to questions. She's a little bit of a dick. I, you, <laughs> the, the, the Saita, the, the Saita. you all seem to be a little, a little saucy. Oh my gosh, oh, do you dream? The Saita dream as well? We all dream here, what, you think you're special? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here to answer your questions. What, what, what can we, what, how can we put your mind at ease? What are your plans when you get to the capital city? <laughs> See a show. See the sides. <laughs> right now, right now we're just one short day there. Happening. Right now we're just scouting. <laughs> uh, obviously, people that we are working with <clears throat> and trying to protect might want to do more than just scout on another on another visit, but right now we just want to know the layout, where things are, who runs it, if there's any easy way in or out. There's in some really terrible people right now on, on Exandria that are trying to do some stuff with your, uh, your dream keeper, and we're trying to keep that from happening. You promise you're not here to hurt Bertie? Hmm? No. No, definitely. No. Uh, we promise yeah. that. Unless he tries to hurt us, okay? okay? Well, so. I mean, this with no, 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 no offense. Here. If we wanted to hurt Bertie, we would have done it by now. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you like good, your pastry? Right? Do you like it? It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> the beings that are causing problems for you all here, they're doing the same thing up on the blue ball. And we just know so little about them, we're really just trying to understand. Things are real tough here. They have been for a long time. Aren't they supposed to be better on the other side? They're supposed They're to be, supposed I guess. To be. The grass is always right. redder. Well, just positing, if you don't mind me, I'll just speaking out of turn here. <laughs> <laughs> what if maybe this is a good thing for us? What if after all this time, this is the opportunity for us to become the dreamers we were always meant to be? That's what I was saying, yeah. I like if this. we could find a way for y'all, whoever wants to, to come across that bridge, I'd be all for it. You're more than all for it. You see the elder's about to speak up before uh, she goes, <laughs> not done with my point. And given all the dreams we've had, <laughs> you think these Exandrian folks are gonna be just eager to welcome us with open arms? Well, technically, this whole place was from Exandria, mm -hmm. and so in a way we're all, not me, but they're all kin of yours. Where's your proof? A... Who's to say Exandria didn't come from us, huh? Oh, well that's true, our legends could be false. 100%. If you're asking if there are pieces of shit, and if you're asking if there are pieces of shit who control some shit down there, yes, absolutely, of course. It will be hard, people will be shitty, but we have plenty of good people, plenty of people who would love to fucking meet you, and to plenty of, meet you. well, mm. both, we're, we're special that way. I'm sorry, yes. I don't but, know what is wrong with me. I know. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Well, they have open it's sex fine because here. It's like, you know, communal. There's zero impulse <laughs> control. <laughs> Bombarded with all these thoughts all the time. Oh, well, can I just go give it a go? You never know what you're gonna like. It's true, your folk are quite perverted. We've noticed over the generations. Mm -hmm. Right now, the exchange program is just not really that friendly. Yeah. So we'd like to improve that if we can. Yeah. There's there's nice people, and there are definitely people that would treat you poorly. I guess Everybody's I'm a bit unique. I'm sorry, Lauren. Fused though. Um. You're connected to the Dream Keeper mm -hmm. through the Weave, and the Rylorans make you all peek in at our dreams. Why? To what end? Is it, does it feed 
the one who sleeps? Not really certain myself. It's just kind of how it's always been. Okay. If the one who sleeps were to ever wake up, <laughs> what would that mean? Uh, I think it's a little beyond my, uh, my purview, but I bet it'd be real interesting. Do you think you would cease to exist? Would you still have a purpose? Well, I'd like to think we'd still be around. Yeah, don't be dark, Jesus. I have a question for Chu. You said we might be made up of dreams. We might not, might not be real. I'm get, having a mild it, existential crisis. It, we're they're guests, they're yeah. pretty big questions, though. That's yeah. like asking us what happens if the gods are gone. We don't know. Yeah. Hey, Chu. The bushy rat man wants my attention. What you want, boy? Bushy <laughs> rat man. Nickname finally sticks. I yes. The like wicked it. one. Play a name. Since bushy, you seem to be Batman. in charge around here, Thank I was you. curious, are there any areas either within your outpost or, or just generally that are forbidden, where you're not allowed to go, where travel is restricted, prohibited, or, or that you might be destroyed upon entering? Well, we have free reign of the open plains here, because we're plains folk here in the moon. Oh. But, uh... We have to make sure that we have proper escorts when we're in the capital city or anyone who travels through. Most everything has some sort of an imperial guard keeping watch. So as long as your business is front facing and you're honest about it, then you'll be fine. Is there um, protected entry into uh, Creveris? There's gates. Gates. There's walkways. And I'm certain there's probably all sorts of interesting ways to stumble in on accident and get thrown into prison. Ooh. Got any tips or tricks? Not for, for getting rumors? thrown into prison, but for not getting... For avoiding that stuff. Avoiding self. all of that. Also, are all sighted sassy as you, or is it just you? <laughs> oh, there. She was a very special sighter. She's, uh, she's definitely a firecracker. <laughs> I like her. Mm. I don't trust him. <laughs> By the way, I've sized them both up over the past five minutes. Are their uh, total levels lower than Orem's? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I, see, I, I noticed on the way here that um, your, tra your trade square is a little beaten down. Do you, do you not use it anymore? Oh, it, we just, we have certain times that we go ahead and open a business here when there's large caravans. We're supposed to have one coming through here soon, but uh, hasn't arrived yet, so it's just kind of in a docile uh, waiting period. But, uh, oh, was it supposed to be here already, or kind of a thing? Like it's a bit delayed. Oh. Okay. And aside from, um, you know, more Imperial presence, since the big blue ball in your moon got, you know, sucked together, has there been anything else that's been a little, little weird, little, Little horky dorky. <laughs> <It's a good laughs> well, the arrival of folks like you and other dreamers walking through here has been rather odd. There's been a lot of uh, unique equipment that's been dragged through here as part of these imperial caravans from the large red spooky beam. Mm. Uh, looks like uh, the, the blue promise, as they call it, the world you're from, and just, just kind of stopped turning. Yeah. It's like, yeah. stop turning? It's been a disc this whole time. That is incorrect, and I think you are uh, upsetting our friends that come from there. A, a disc oh. the whole time, you said? Yeah. Oh, no. You would know if you're from there unless you're not and you're lying. You're right. I, maybe I'm not from there. Maybe that's how I have this secret knowledge. Oh, God. <laughs> It's a Why would sphere. you say that, Chew? <laughs> I like Chew. <laughs> and then there were two. <laughs> How far away <laughs> is Creveris from here? Creveris is a, a few days' travel. Oh, shit. Well, there's a few, a few kind of raw checkpoints you got to get through as well, depending. Some of the landscape just north of here tends to get a bit, uh, bit sticky. So you want to make sure to stick to the approved Imperial lanes, otherwise you start getting into 
worm territory in the... Uh, worm? No, no. What do you mean, worm? Lunar worms. Bane worms are your biggest threat out here. Sounds amazing. I heard, I heard bean worms. I was like, okay, bean cute. Worms. No big deal. Whoa. Just little bean worms. <laughs> bean worms. How do oh. folk, how do, oh, how do folks normally travel? Uh, is it via Wukor or is it some other means? Like, how, how could we travel and, and not uh, rouse suspicion? Kind of looks down at uh, Chu and Chu's like given this kind of pouty looking face. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. We can it's gonna bite to. you in this. <laughs> like, I, I have a few friends I think that might be uh, of interest for you to talk to if you're heading that way. Is this like a biker gang or something, or? Don't know what that is, but I'm gonna say probably. Oh, sure. Yeah, I guess they were uh, I wouldn't know what that is. Yeah. The bikes on the moon, idiots. <laughs> crawler crawler <laughs> gang. Crawler, crawler gang, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, things have been pretty intense as of late. The Imperium has been demanding double yields uh, and supplies in preparation for this, uh, event, something big on the horizon that they're all kind of riled up on. They sent the uh, the Willmaster Edmuda to come and kind of enforce their their will upon this village. Edmuda. 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 Willmaster Edmuda. Edmuda is a particularly cruel being, a high-ranking enforcer for the Dominion of Cruth's disciplinary division, oh, shit. known as the Will. She's uh, she's an unassuming Rylorn, with a terrifyingly penetrating mind. So uh, definitely try not to call too much attention. Uh, the one thing the Ruth's also trying to snuff out are friends of the Volition. Volition. Wait. That's the good. That's the goodies. The good ones. The good ones. We, we've heard that name before, haven't we? Yeah. Huh? Volition is what you might call a uh, generational resistance against the Imperium. You see, like, there's a nervousness to his eyes as he's looking towards the windows, and his voice goes a little more hushed. Um, I'm not sure where they're based, but uh, there have been a number of attacks at and under Kaviris. That shows that there's been ramping up combat and around the swells of Imperium activity, so uh, I imagine their base of operations isn't too far from the capital city itself. You don't know exactly where? No, but I've had a longtime friend of mine that comes through on occasion to do some trading. It's a glasssmith who has an affiliation with the Volition. Oh. Occasionally looks for a place to hide when they're passing through and things get hairy. Her name is Zesh. Zesh. A reformed Shrike. Once under the Imperium. A reformed what? Shrike. It's a, it's a type of. She might be able to help you if you can find her. You said you were expecting traders to come through. Would she be with them? I mean, it's certainly possible. You have to look in if they make themselves known, hopefully in the next day or two. Oh, they just come by in the dead of night to visit you, or? Usually not in the dead of night, but uh, unless they're close enough where it's safer for them to come and roost up for the evening, but it's been a few days overdue. Usually they come through, pop by for a few hours, and keep on going? There's been a lot of supply drops and running to and from the capital to the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, where the bean is. Yeah. They built an encampment or something there. Yeah. Oh, so. Yeah. Uh, and they'd be heading back to the capital? Or their headquarters. They go other direction. The caravan was supposed to be coming from Kaviris. Got it. So uh, imagine we'd be making its way out to that base. Got it. Did you all, did you all, did you, did you know about the, the, the sky, how it's kind of like a, a magical weave? <laughs> Don't think I follow. 
yeah. So we've... Is it still there? You mean the cloudy wall at the... The the divine, the the magic leaf that was around Oh, you mean the lattice work? Yeah, Yeah. the lattice work, yeah. yeah. It's still is it there. There is it visible from here? I don't think we look up. We see it though. Uh, you're in, you haven't really focused too hard on it, but you can still see the kind of the network of ley lines across Exandria at the far distance if you focus hard enough. Um, you haven't taken a moment to look for it, so you're it's that moment of going, huh? I don't think we've seen it yet. Okay, may not be here. But I'm trying to remember and the divine gate and the lattice work is like metaphysical, right? Like that's not. No, we can see it. We saw it. it. it maybe it's From over that one. We saw we it. Looked, yeah. Maybe it's With over that lens. one. Just the, the city. So looking into space. Yeah. 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 Covering the moon. It was Through covering a the moon. magical when fey we, lens we allowed us to see, yes. it, but not with the no. naked eye. No. That's it true. was with that. Look up at the sky. I could use this monocle. It was with the green. Yes, it was with that green lens that we got from. I'm not going to waste it on that. Also, um, just as a reminder, above the table talk, Ira is here somewhere. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. thinking yeah, yeah, that, yeah. and also we yeah. should probably check check the, the the magic. Are we being followed by again? Mm-hmm. Pretty soon. Go no, ahead, pull it out right now. Okay. <laughs> Nothing there. Should we set up an ambush for this caravan? Wait, they're the, the, the good caravan. guys. So are we. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, should we? I'm gonna say it in our heads. Should we ask about like Ludinus and and what's her face? Odahan. Odahan. I don't. I, feel like I mean, we can try, but I don't know if he's. If they maybe know. they passed by here. Can we yeah. show them they even know? images? Did do you, you have a way to do have that? You ever, I can. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how that would help us. Yeah, I mean, maybe if they've seen him walking through. Do it. Yeah. I will do a. Minor illusion, thank you. That's the name of the spell. I'll do the other ones. Oh, and we'll do, okay. And I'll do Ludinus and which I will do Otohan. Have, Have you seen, seen these people? people? Have you seen this person? Help us, yes. Elder Dorothy, you're only hoping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, indeed, we've um, definitely made contact with these individuals from a distance. It's been, it's been quite a few weeks, but they did come through with the initial wave of dreamers that stepped upon our land. How, how often do they come here? Oh, we haven't seen them in particular for a long time. There's been other other droves of dreamers wearing the same robes you all are wearing, and uh, very few come through to say many words. How about someone who wasn't? I suppose if we're here, we should ask about Ira. Yes. Big, spindly, someone wants to conjure something, I'm next. just gonna. Oof. I'll switch my illusion to Ira. Yeah. Pull out the mask. Uh, doesn't ring a bell, unfortunately, kinda. Kind of weird looking fella. He is, yes. no. Yeah. <laughs> you said you had to triple your production for some big event on the horizon. Do you know why they need what you make? Never really questioned it. And is, is the production of the meat and the, the hide and the milk and all the things that you said, or is that what you live off of? What are they interested in you producing so much of? Supplies, probably to feed or clothe or armor, and they've certainly been looking for an accelerated rate of training, Avedon. Building an army. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Supplies. Well. Should we go to sleep? Uh, I think we can make our way further in if this, if this, uh, well, that's our question. They're coming. They're coming from from the the gate or the. They're coming uh, from the city. City. But so I may, have, I may have misspoke. Yeah. My, my intent was they're heading towards the city. They're heading from them. That's Got on me. It, right? My brain switched. Here. The so we should be city. here to when meet they come, them. Yeah, we should so meet them and ride with what them. What you meant was beam yeah, to city. Beam, beam to city is what I meant. That's on me. No worries. So so so. You're saying the traders are coming here. Yeah. With from the beam, and then we from the hitch a ride with the caravan. To the rebel base. To the exactly. rebel base. If yeah. we, they like us. And the caravan is with the. the Pastry's ready. Volition? Or they're well, just. The suppliers. caravan's in Imperium, but there is a. My contact does often travel with the caravan. I can't guarantee they're even with this one. Right. That's just the way they travel with on occasion to get so through the city. So, in theory, we'd be traveling with folk that are not necessarily friendly to us, but there is a potential friendly within their ranks? Yeah, that's certainly possible. Is there any way you can get in 
contact with Zesh? See where she might be? I, I don't really have a means of doing so. She just what occasionally Zesh wanders through. Like? could do sending. That's why I try. Mm -hmm. She's a, a lithe looking uh, Rylorn with a uh, kind of a slightly faded uh, purple gray tint to her body. Uh, her crest has a large, like, cloven mark on the right side from some previous scuffle. Um, Do you have anything that belongs to her? Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy <laughs> 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 yeah. I have. You must be fun at the theater. <laughs> I have some recovered. Uh, Subglass over here and kind of walks over to a cabinet and she reaches up and, like, can't quite, you mind? And you watch as uh, Chu kind of climbs to the arm and goes, like, sure, yeah, do whatever you ask, don't worry, skip. Grabs it, <laughs> like that. Here's, here's your glass shot, mister. <laughs> She's just showing off because we got company. She's very sweet. You shut up! <laughs> and hands this. Uh, and you've seen bits of this glass used in the landscape and like some of the construction for the walls, for various structures, pillars, and, and some elements of it you think you may have seen kind of in some of the chasms and stuff of the landscape, but this is a piece of like uh, oddly, naturally kind of bending, uh, almost like a, like, a, like a turquoise obsidian. So like a blue tinged yeah. black, mm -hmm. like a blue, like a blue, well, a blue green coloration, yeah. but shiny. the texture and the edges of it are very obsidian flake like. Okay. That's cool. Is it opaque? Is it clear? Can you see through? Uh, it's semi opaque. You can see through it for the color, um, but it's uh, it isn't like a perfect you know, it's clear glass. And that's in contrast to like reddish earth everywhere. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> pretty. Uh, yeah. That's what's pretty. Yeah, th this is. That's oh, that's medium. what I saw. That's what I saw, that stone. I saw that in my vision when I was I going down. Yeah, you know? going down yeah. through the layers. This is the, the glass of the land. It gives uh, particular strength to a number of wonderful tools and implements throughout, and Zesh is a master uh, glass shaper. Oh. So uh, Zesh is a, a talented crafter, uh, and that is her trade and where she travels along and has kind of looks out the windows again been very instrumental in providing some very important utility to the Volition, of which I am not a member. <laughs> so, I, I, I have another question. Um, yes? So when these these Rhyloran masters, when they usher in the flares, why do they do that? I can't rightly tell you. I, that's, that's weave mine business. All I know is it's, it's been quite often in recent decades, and we've all kind of assumed it was leading to either some terrifying cataclysm or maybe a, others feel it's a great miracle on the horizon above. Maybe it's all bullshit and they can't control it at all. Also very possible, but also a little scary when you think about it. Yeah. I'm old enough where it doesn't, it shrugs off my shoulders relatively easy. More frequent in the last few decades, but did it happen at all before then? It did, it did. It's bright where we are. Is it just fucking the whole ground starts to glow? You see like this odd smile curl across his face. I hope you get to see one while you're here because it is quite a sight. Oh shit. Whoa. <laughs> um, what do you, Whoa. do you, um, what do you guys think of Katha? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Softball league? Those yeah, buttons. yeah, they're great. <laughs> that was good Fun. dance. <laughs> Katha, I assume, is the the White Moon counterpart to the Blue yes, Promise. Maybe you have a different name. Right. Uh, a, a beautiful, soulful, lonely white entity. Uh, we've always looked up to this this white, beautiful, pearlescent twin to where the dreamers dream. It's kind of like a solitary mirror. Some believe maybe it's. It's where the good dreams go to be kept. Others think it's where the bad dreams go to die and are left to become silt and dust. Um, others, it's, it's a symbol of what happens if we don't focus on the things that we want to accomplish. 
And we too will be left there in endless darkness, alone and pale. Jeez. Oh. Have we seen Katha in the sky since we've arrived? Um, I'd say you've seen a little bit of Katha. A little bit kind of like curling just beyond when you first got here, and now it's kind of out on the okay. open space. So, above table talk again, you met when they're the, the weave masters. The weave mind. The weave mind usher the flares. Did you say what that looks like, or have like, those, those are the no. Ruidian, like the flares that? Yeah. But yeah, we don't know what they look like on the one, surface. Because I asked right. if it was just like. Yeah. And they've been doing it a lot <clears throat> lately, which is their fuckery, which is you know, whatever yeah. whatever their big. Secret plan is. Yeah. Did he say, did you say what happens to them when the flares happen? The weave monument? The people, the dream, the. He didn't you say. can ask. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't reaching No, I wasn't clarified. Um, yes, yeah, so I asked him, what, what, when, the, when these flares happen, when they ushering flares, <laughs> what, does that, uh, what does that do to you all, like mentally? Well, a flare. As you call them, uh, we we refer to them as a a beat. It's the the beat of the heart of the one who sleeps. And in these moments, the land alights with a, a vibrant, near blinding red hue, and uh, a euphoric, unified dream washes over all of us. What's the dream? It's not experiential. It's the closest I could experience to spiritual. It it feels connected, like something. Any sort of loneliness you felt suddenly cast away for a moment. Oh. Oh. That sounds. Oh. Mm -hmm. You feel connected to everyone on this world, on Ruidus? Or feel connected to people, the dreamers? Wait, what, what? I don't know. Maybe? Maybe. In your head, uh, I'll say to the group, <clears throat> if a flare happens, it might be a way to, um, for Pradathos to pull people Get control. That sounds very much like when I reach out to him. That's what I feel. It's hard to fight. The flares might oh, like it keep binds people them yeah. to him. Yeah, under his control. You also if do we're know, here when that happens, that'd probably be pretty rough. You also do know from the lore that you've acquired and the knowledge that you've both learned of your past that the rudest born are those that are born under a flare. Like historically, through all of Xandrian's yeah. history, since the flares have been spoken of, that's oh. where the root is born. That's where the root is born started. So I, I, I actually have a question, An another one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I started with that because I'll probably have more. Um, <clears throat> when people are born here during a flare, does that mean anything? Uh, generally. It, it, it means it's uh, a, a, a rude awakening when they <laughs> come to from the reverie, but uh, it's just considered a cause of celebration. And not to get like graphic, but you mentioned you're all carved from Alexandria. Do you are, are babies? Are, th are babies? Our babies. Do you babies? Ba oh, ba question. We babies, okay. I suppose. I'm a little ba curious this question you're putting you're like forward. Born. Where do well, babies come from? As you were saying, you come from. I understand. Uh, we've seen many of your dreams, if that's what you're asking. Yes, it's not too dissimilar. All right. Well, cool. I know you were saying you were made from rock, so uh, are you, like, do, 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 do your babies come, come, out of your, come out of your bodies? Come out of your Or do you, like, <laughs> Come out More of your, come out of a rock. <laughs> how do you conceive? Like, how do you all have kids? <laughs> What's your favorite sexual position? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the elder kind of like takes a step back with a 
a curious brow twist as uh, Chu goes, Yeah, why don't you tell them? <laughs> tell them all about it. Give them all the info they want. Not dissimilar to, I'm sure, you also give birth. Oh. We're living, breathing beings. Okay, all right. Yes. Is there anyone who thinks uh, that the flares are the sleeper being listless, waking for a moment, just being on the edge of wakefulness. There are those who might believe that. There's all sorts of strange uh, philosophical takes on these goings on. There's the classic mythology, and then there's those who have their own ideas. Mm. Having your own idea can be a little dangerous these days, so well, it's not discussed often. Well, maybe if, if the Weave Mind is ushering in the flares, maybe it's like they're trying to pump them up, like, mm-hmm. like yes. wake it up. Also, it could be, you know, those electric things. Mm. Rudus born or born under the flare. Maybe they're trying to create more and more people of of the Dream Keepers, people that they can recruit into the army. Yes, that's interesting. Yeah. You've dreamed about us. Have you dreamed about our gods? We've seen the symbols. We take it as your mythology, as we have our own, but we, we think your interpretations of miracles are very beautiful. Hmm. That's Cute. impressive. <laughs> You've been very patient with our, our questions. A lot. Thank you. And before we leave, because we are going to take a, we're going to take a run at this Creveris place and, and roll the dice a little bit. Is there anything that we can take care of for you here in the outpost? Anyone you want us to rough up or disappear? <laughs> you hear Chu go, <laughs> so it seems they've revealed their true intent. Looks like they're a bunch of thuggers coming through here to just knife some of the locals. I like them even more now. Or we could just gather some materials that you need. <laughs> if I can Turn gather as much as I can. Wow. <laughs> Holy that was shit. not enough for you wow. to do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> not nearly enough. It's also the wrong campaign. <laughs> <laughs> If I could find a way. <laughs> give us three minutes. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll come back to you guys after a break. Um, well, to, to be perfectly honest, I'm certainly very uh, curious about many facets of your, your cultures and your lived experiences. Uh, uh, I'm cu- have you ever been to a place called Taste of Talbot? Taste of Talbot. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have. We quite a few times. Yes. Wait. It looks like a, a raucous time. How many people have? How many people dream about Taste of Taldori on a regular basis? I mean, more than you'd think. It, it tends to <laughs> tends to be a recurring event. And all manner of celebrations around. There's something about that that's just. A, I don't know. <laughs> Got a certain quirk to it. <laughs> do we? Does anybody have their tankard left? Oh, uh, I don't think I got you. Do we have a shirt? Do you have a shirt? I have a white size for lovers t-shirt towel. that I was gonna get rid of. I also have a, a taste of Taldor, a little pencil. <clears throat> that's that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm gonna good. grab that. We think but I can't. Back. I can't remember sword, what all I gave because I gave one of my taste of Taldor things away to get out of the fan. <laughs> Oh my God, that's right. But here, I think I have a pencil. I I have a toy sword, so I'll. Stand Which next one to do you Imogen. want? Which, oh. Yeah. Do you know both? All right. I don't know. You do. Oh. You're giving away two bartering wow. chips? We're on the fucking moon. <laughs> That's two get out of jail free cards. People dream about this shit. It's not free, you have to give it away. It's get out I of jail for a price. I still have the novelty price. cup from my Ashari. <laughs> okay, breathing. good. Good, good, good. You texted the correct. Uh, the Taste of Taldori is a franchise, so you know maybe after all of this like hullabaloo is done, we can open one, one here on the moon. Yeah, you could be great idea. The, the manager idea. and the assistant manager. Oh my gosh, what if we had <laughs> Taste of Taldori here, and then back home we could have the Taste of Cerverus. Ser- 
No. We can have the taste of that again. We can have the taste of the Resora outpost. Cerberus. No, wait. Resora. No. What's the town called? Resora. Well, this one is. Resora. Cravaris? Cravaris. Taste of Cravaris. Taste of Cravaris. Okay, okay, okay. Well, there, there are a lot of good people in Cravaris. Oh, yeah. There's just. Imperium controlled. It is. But just because the Imperium controls it doesn't mean everyone they control is. Got to be burned to the ground. Got it. And it, by, by the way, if we, if we make it there, like, oh. I hate to pepper you with more questions. Two more. Um, if we make it there, is there anyone that we should check in with or seek shelter with? Anyone who's an ally of yours who lives in, in that area? If you, if, if you, Zesh is the only uh, individual I trust because okay. I know their affiliation. Anyone else I've encountered around here might be very uh, aligned. Got it. And second question, unrelated. Can we sleep somewhere here? Here. Well, near? Uh, we have like four more we hours can, left of travel. I feel like we should take I got a room we can. I, I think We're we only going to get work. halfway there. Even that's so, that's halfway. That, this then is, we don't know where to go, and we're in the middle of nowhere. You, a road. Keep your voice down. You're shouting. I'm sorry. <laughs> I what only thinking. I so only loud. have two volume settings. I'm <laughs> 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 having trouble controlling the volume on my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Line in and out. Line in and out. If we if we go on foot or with the caravan, it's a couple of days of travel. If we at least use the the cloud form, we can get there so much faster, and and, and then it just and takes an extra tomorrow. day. Yeah. But but but, but, we'll be but, but then we the, won't know. Yeah. We won't know where it is, and we'll be on a road with no beasts of burden or I anything. I have a very strong idea of where it is. Oh. Right, but but I think I think what at least I'm kind of with FCG also, here because spells. I thought they we like imperial guards in everything or like escorting everyone everywhere. So I thought that was the the pro. The to go with Zeth. And then wouldn't we Zeth? miss the caravan? Zeth. Zeth. Wouldn't we miss the caravan if we leave? Yeah. Because isn't it going to be here? We would. Well, all right, hang all on. Right. All right. Hang on. If we, have... we were to stay here, would there be a place to sleep? Uh, it probably wouldn't be the most comfortable, but I think there could be a. Uh, uh, we have a storage basement beneath this abode here that you'd be able to stay out of sight, and I assume you're all fairly comfortable amongst yourselves. You mean where you'd put us while you turn us in? Chew? <laughs> She's like, <laughs> My God, they found me out! Oh no! <laughs> Watching you. <laughs> Side note above the table Liam thinks spending days traveling across the lunar landscape is fucking rad. I know, I do too. Yeah, no, I'm totally into it. Well, hang on. Um, I are guess. Are you above the table or are you hang on? I'm, I'm <laughs> hang on. I'm hang on. I came up for hair and back. <laughs> We 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 can always we have this glass from Zesh. Yep. Uh-huh. Nailed it from Zesh, <laughs> so her we can get so in con- contact with her, right? And maybe just Marvel. see if she is expected here, and then if she's not, then we can Screen. you know maybe. If Sandy works here mm-hmm. on yeah. we could always try that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. How far is it? Did you say? Did anyone say days. how far? Two days. days. A few days. Also, the chance with us just being able to waltz into any other situation and be as lucky, <clears throat> as fortunate as we were here is slim. I feel like we should be. I've just been too anxiety written, written to even look the fuck up yet for like more than 10 seconds. Maybe Barthy, be honest with us. How are our Imperial disguises? Like if we were to just kind of like waltz through Sir Sika. Craveris. Craveris. <laughs> Without a. Cersei Lannister. Bati Luda. <laughs> Sorry, I actually got it in my head. Bati Luda. It was me, it was me. Craveris Cafe, finally. There it is, there it is. Uh, Alliteration. Yes, if we were just to uh, walk around without like an official escort, would that, would we pass? Be honest, be honest. I haven't visited Craveris in probably 40 or so years, uh, so I'm not certain just how uh, how intense the populace might be uh, to are looking for your kind. You are definitely dreamers, so you're going to draw attention. Right, we're aliens from uh, another you're, world. You're wearing, you're wearing the garb of the dreamers that come escorted, so that might They come escorted, help, all right. But, uh, I mean, but there's normally like a Rylor and a Scorpion. You're all extremely strange looking. 
How many days? It says the small arms like everyone. grab the teacup and pull even, it in. Well, even at if, home, that's true. I, yeah. What if we're escorted by, you know, someone that, that, you know, because I could disguise myself. I could look like you. If you're escorted by um, uh, any sort of Imperium figure of okay. some import or force of personality, and they probably improve your chances, I'm sure. Um, the closer you get to the weave mine, though, the harder it is to deceive. They, they kind of have access to everyone. Well, to a degree. Yeah, I image and I say in your head, are you able to summon your little Rylorian friends here? Does it work like that now that we're on the moon? I haven't tried it, I don't know. That might be something to do if we do take a day or two here to yes, do an at rest so that it's not a surprise in sure. a heated moment. I also don't get control over which one when I you pull. Get, yeah. so you can get like a farmer. Potentially. Or you could get Will Master Edmuda. <laughs> I mean, we could just spend a few days here just being farmers. <laughs> that kind of sounds fun. I'm honestly into it. Yeah, I, I like it. I'm not, fuck that. <laughs> I'm not coming to the moon to farm. No offense. Moon farmer. You could engage with local culture. You could, you could also. Learn about their ways. You could fuck chew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking any rock people. <laughs> very thick, we just assumed. Is there any wood here? Yes. <laughs> Is there any wood? Uh, you do see bits of wood. Uh, most, most of it's stone crafted. Make an investigation check for me. You're a very clever man. Investigation, you yeah. say? 15. 15. Guy. A lot of the a lot of the stonework that you see here, with like in the interior, the furniture, uh, it's very well carved, um, angular in places, uh, very very well smoothed and, and detailed. Uh, a lot of it has like a very, it's it, it's it reminds you, but it's not dwarvish. You know, it has a very similar kind of like a uh, a cunning take on the stone carving aesthetic. Um, and there are bits of wood that you see in here, usually used as sparingly, as opposed to Exandria, where wood is a very plentiful resource. It looks like wherever it's sourced here, uh, whether it's from Exandria or otherwise, it's used mainly as a, a flourish or is very sparingly done in very necessary, intricate ways or as a, a small bit of decoration. It's a rarity. Well, I feel like Above table. <laughs> <laughs> you go Lana when you go above yes. table. <laughs> Matt is going to want us to choose what we're going to do. <laughs> Stay here or go? We'll vote. Why don't we vote? What did we, let's check in with, let's check in with Zesh. Are you going to, can you, is that something you can do? I can do it right now, um, yeah. I still have message. a third. Okay. Yeah. God. Oh God, there's a, that's a lot of, I mean, I can't scry. No, but you can I send. I can try to send. I don't know if it'll work here, but I can try. Can Orm and I go to the windows and just do a little like peek, peek. make sure we're still cool? Sure. Well, give me perception checks. Let's go, Pops. How do I frame this? You say you're here with um. Twenty-six. With Barthy. Barthy. When are you when are you gonna be at Barthy's house? All right. Okay. And yeah, what do we need to know? Just when are you gonna be there? Yeah, right. but are they we need an through? escort to the city. We're friends. Are you? Friends yeah. Of you, mm -hmm. glancing through, can see that a number of the uh, little kind of blue orb lanterns and stuff are all kind of like converging and gathering on a far end of the village, kind of near where you had arrived. Uh. Uh, and it, it seems like it's a little more commotion than what you saw on the way here. How far off are they? I mean, it's hard to tell distance, but you can oh, gather. It's ahead. kind of towards the, the yeah, outskirts awesome. of the village. Mm -hmm. I elbow Chetney and point it out. Mm. Some kind of hubbub <laughs> out there. Mm. Hubbub what? Hey, uh, Elder Barthy, do you think that caravan could be arriving now? Because there's a little, uh, little hubbub on the outskirts. I mean, it's certainly possible. Uh, they've been a little delayed, so if they're trying to get here before it gets too late, that's uh, 
within the realm of possibility. Where do they usually stay when they come in? Well, they, as a caravan, they usually set up themselves. We don't have a lot of, like, uh, you know, a lot of travel space here. Folks generally carry their own mm -hmm. means of sleep around here or stay with some of the local farmers if they need to. Uh, Is Dono still in the room? Dono is. Dono is just, just taking this all in quietly with a big grin. <laughs> Dono. Yes? Much. Do you mind, uh, do you mind going and taking a little pixie? See if that's the caravan. Coming back. I can, I can go do that. All right. I'll Not a word to anyone. You do, so take oh, it. Zip. No word. That, that, whatever that yourself. means, yes. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Opens the door. Good, good face. Yep. And saunters out mm. into the night. Elder. Do those within the volition, which you have nothing to do with, at all, um, do they have a, a phrase or a, a word oh, yeah, that yeah. they speak to each other so that you know you're friendly? They know they're friendly. Uh, unfortunately, codes uh, to what you're saying tend to be unreliable. Mm. It's more of a well, it's more of a feeling. So in his head, I'll say, do y'all? Speak to each other. Rylorans can speak to us, and uh, there are ways to safeguard the parts inside that don't want to be revealed. Um, so I just got to be open when it's someone you think you can trust. Got it. In his head, and kind of back to you, like. The fact that you're poking around in here is more than I was expecting from a dreamer. This I is ain't poking around. Don't worry, just talking. But just saying that's a useful tool in where you're going. All right. How is Dana doing? Dana already left. Oh. I know. <clears throat> I don't know doing. You do not. He walks out for a bit, talks to another figure out there, nods and walks back in the most not chill, fast run. <laughs> did they, did, did Dono speak in common there? Because I can read lips, or is there another language spoken when we're not around? Uh, I'd say at this distance at night, it'd be too hard to see with the low light. Okay. Um, so you're uncertain. Okay. Uh, but Dono comes back to the door, opens up. Uh, it, it is, uh, the caravan has arrived. <laughs> Oh! Uh, ah! Yeah. Bless you. Sorry. Good job. Uh, that, that is good news? Yeah. yeah. I think so. I think so. Well, I did not say to look, I just checked in on it. I did not want to raise suspicion. Very, very wise, don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe we should, should we still send a message? They're here. Or if they're here, it's kind of stupid. Go, go say hi. Elder, do you think, well, we shouldn't go say hi. No. We could send Dunna to say that uh, Elder Barthy wants a little quick word with Zesh. 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 Or we could just wait till Zesh shows up here. We don't want to draw his attention to Zesh and part of the caravan, right? I don't know. <laughs> we don't even know if Zesh is with this caravan, too. It's another reason to Barthy. try reaching out, Imogen, because that's a. Uh, okay. Low All key. right, sure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to reach out to Zesh. Okay. Guidance. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You got this. You're, you're very capable. We're here with Elder Barthy. Are you with the caravan in town? Would love to speak with you. There's a long pause to where you worry that the spell continues to not function, but there's also no static that strikes to the center of your mind. Like the, you're beyond the knotted ley lines for that interference to carve its way into the spellcraft. Mm -hmm. And a voice responds a moment later. I do not know who you are and what you want with Barthi. I'm just here to do some business. Yeah. 
out, y'all. I'm out of spells. <laughs> so. Well, she's here. Yeah, if Zesha's here, then then we can find her. You better go get her. Or Barthy. Mm. Uh, Barthy, does Zesh come here, or do you go to Zesh? Well, uh, this late at night, I, I, I'm not much for wandering the premises unless there's a, a reason. Uh, you think it'll rouse suspicion if I leave my homestead? I don't know. I don't know that, but would you, if you prefer, we can go. We can go. We can go. Right? Do You're you invisible. Do you greet the caravan if it person. comes into town? Uh, it, well, during the day, yes. They, they don't normally arrive this late at night, so this is a little well, out of the ordinary. I don't think you should do anything out of the ordinary. No, well, they're but, out of the ordinary. But this is all out of the ordinary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fair, so maybe. Guy, and okay. when the rest of us hang back. Yeah. All of us can be invisible, also. Don't we still have cloud? Yeah, we don't know. Would you be surprised if you saw the elder uh, wandering around tonight, just since the caravan went and came in? Would that be unusual to you? I mean, it wouldn't be entirely unusual. It, it would just be a hello. Okay. Maybe. I mean, well, I, I suppose I, well, here. At the very least, I can go ahead and try and see what the commotion's about. Goes ahead We're going to turn, I'm going to turn into fart. Okay. Uh, Goodbye. Just you. <laughs> Bye, Imogen. <laughs> I'm going to start looking for the little uh, subterranean entrance to go below the floor that he was talking about. Okay. Parthy. Oh, he's okay. inside. Mm -hmm. He said there's one inside? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> as you, you begin to concentrate and shift your form, uh, you go to glance over there, and uh, Barthy turns to kind of open the door. There's a <laughs> on the door, and Barthy kind of pushes it open as it continues to pull its way oh. even wider open, and you can see kind of standing just the lower half of the the head peering down the tall form of a. Uh, a Rhyloran, kind of thin, with long, kind of tangled and tied robes in the front, a, a set of kind of spalders that come out into these central curls on each side. Um, it looks like it's it's there are elements of it that feel kind of rugged, but are thrown over some sort of adornment uh, that denotes station and ornateness to some of the metals and the bones that are kind of set within the uh, the set. And uh, immediately, uh, Barthy goes, "Oh well, oh well, uh, Will Master, he wasn't expecting you oh quite God. so oh God. Uh, oh God. Pre yeah, presently <laughs> here." Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go to fart too. It takes a minute. It takes a minute. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Start. And that's no, what we'll come back after the break. You can't start. You're frozen in place and can't do anything while it's happening. Yeah, you yeah. Still, you're vulnerable. No, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide. Well, you got a little bit to think about what the hell you're gonna do, except for Imogen, who's just turning into a fart now. I said it though. It would have been what? How long before that person the arrived? Real master Edmodo. 30 okay. Seconds. Twenty seconds. Thirty seconds. Oh, we're gonna find out. Roll a d. Roll a d6 for me. This. Okay. Four. 40 okay. seconds. Okay, so you got 20 seconds left. Okay. <laughs> Guess we'll see what we do when we come back. Four yeah. rounds. We'll see Four that. rounds. If something goes. 20 seconds. That's the. Just Four quick. Rounds. That's you got that long you when you're talking that to long. somebody. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, we'll see you all here shortly. Yay! series of increasingly insane escalating circumstances while struggling to follow their warped moral compasses and do what they think is hopefully the right thing. Can the trust get worse somehow? 
Can Phineas get less worse? How much longer can Lark outrun her past? Are there any objectively good guys in this story other than Mark Weed? How can any of these threads possibly be resolved with only one more season to go? And we still don't even know what happened with that dang moon. Are we ever going to get some answers? Yes. As a matter of fact, we will. The third and final season of Midst unfolds February 14th. Listen to the pure sound experience anywhere you stream podcasts or watch illustrated video episodes on the Critical Role YouTube channel. In the meantime, you can follow us at Midst Podcast or join the fold on Midst.co to get early access to episodes, behind the scenes bonus content, music downloads, digital artwork, and more. Everything's been leading to this. We'll be with you to the end. Do you trust us? Delve into a new tabletop role-playing game of investigative horror with the Candela Obscura Core Rulebook using the Illuminated World System by Darrington Press. Roam the turn-of-the-century inspired setting of the Fairlands, including the bustling city of New Fair and the ancient ruins of Old Fair below. Assemble a circle of investigators within the paranormal secret society of Candela Obscura. You'll analyze strange and horrifying events, fight back against dangerous phenomena, and contain the bleed that spreads from corruptive magic. Choose from 10 custom character sheets to empower your investigations and explorations. Use tactical intuition and brawn with the soldier specialty. Use your charm with finesse and flair as the magician specialty. Or study and practice mystical arts as an occultist. Explore districts of New Fair, competing organizations, four full assignments, and dozens of example assignments to inspire you. If you choose to brave the role of game master, this guide contains everything needed to pave the way for your Candela Obscura investigators. Offered in both a standard edition as well as an ornate limited edition for collectors, the Candela Obscura Core Rulebook contains 204 art-filled pages, including maps, items, immersive notes, mysteries, and plenty more to power your very own story. Keep this tome close, for the knowledge obtained may be the key to protecting you, your allies, and the Fairlands. Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role Shop. Style should never be a dumpster, darling. Roll an investigation if you want. It's basically perfect. Oh, so comfy cozy. Go ahead, darling. Treat yourself. Can you put donuts in this? Only one way to find out. Look at this. Isn't it fashion? So much fashion happening here. I mean, the traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. This is, this is a lot of stuff, you guys. We have, like, so many cool things right now. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Our Radiant Order is bound to a sacred mission. Reduce, contain, and eliminate bleed. For those that attempt to harness its chaotic power, great danger awaits. When caught in the crossfire of such phenomena, one cannot be held to account for the scars they are burdened with. Though, time is a fleeting luxury when a circle is knowingly assembled outside the parameters of our belief. A grim demise awaits those who leverage the powers of magical bleed. The Circle of Tide and Bone, assignment number 3926, Candles in the Dark.
now go live to a special address from the president. Hey, dweebs. Now as your president, I've been kind of killing it lately. I gave global warming an atomic wedgie, I balanced the budget by selling my pog collection, and I saved the Queen of England from that octopus. But my kick-assery is far from done. According to this chart that I made, an estimated 35% of you are still a bunch of nasty goobers. But don't worry, I have a plan. Operation Gag Me With A Spoon. It's easy sleazy. According to this study that I wrote, if every citizen subscribed to Critical Role on Twitch, we could reduce maximum goobage by a metric buttload. Twitch is the only place well, you'll get a live and moderated chat. And if you subscribe to Critical Role, you instantly get access to all their shows as soon as the live broadcast ends. So while you're oogling these Critical Role dorks with their sick goof em ups and their nutty voices, think of me, Gail, the current president of whatever. Now I gotta go make a fresh batch of spitballs, but I guess I have some time for your boring questions. You. Gail, is it true that if you subscribe to Critical Role through Prime Gaming, you have to resubscribe every month? Uh, yeah. I do it right after my monthly prank call to pee on O'Brien. Next question. Does Critical Role have exclusive emotes for their subscribers? Uh, do we? Of course they do. I like the Hello Bees one because bees are cool. I replace my whole security detail with a bunch of bees that think I'm their queen. Last question. Yeah, with all due respect, is Operation Gag Me with a Spoon a real policy, or are you mad goofing? <gasps> Am I mad goofing? What, do you see me scarfing milk duds while doodling ding-dongs on the Sky Mall catalog? Listen, I know I'm new to this, and I admit that when I made the wish to be the boss of everything, I did not know the witch that works at Woolworths was listening. But Faustian bargain or not, I am the president now, and I have an obligation to lead this country. So to answer your question, no, I am not mad goofing. Security, take him out. <laughs> Later, shot records. And welcome back. So, here with the door open and the sight of what looks like the Willmaster standing there beyond the threshold, you mid transformation, you towards the back of the chamber. What do you do? Did I successfully find uh, an access point to underneath the? Make an investigation check, actually. That's fair. And 
in this split second of time, yeah. are we really hidden from view, or is there full-on gaps past our host's shoulders where we're all just going? Well, to investigation. If I heard the knock, I would have like gotten out of, yeah, view of yeah, that yeah. anyway. I don't trust it. Also, are we saying that we're all diving behind furniture and stuff and rolling stealth? Uh, that, that if if all right. Well, <laughs> those of you that wish to, you can go ahead and make a stealth check with disadvantage. I will dive behind the nearest <clears throat> chair. <clears throat> with disadvantage? Yes. Oh, <laughs> terrible. Oh, I get a two or three, I'm so sad. Oh. All right. Oh, disadvantage? Yeah. yeah. Dang it. <laughs> I rolled a 20 and a 19. Hey! Yeah, that's bad. So whatever. All right. 11. Uh, so 11. Yeah. Uh, six. Six. I'm standing behind a coat tree. I can't hide. Yeah, you're, you're just lying there. 22. 22? I didn't try yet. 21, I'm sorry. Yeah. I guess I'll try. We're trying to hide behind furniture? Yeah, that's a one. What else do we do? <laughs> Attack! 15. Fight! There's a lot of people out there, though. How do you know? Because we saw them through the window. How many do we see? Many, many lights. As, and it was a return. As the door is shifted open, and the majority of you leap off the side of the room, half of you <laughs> Knocking into like a bit of furniture and oh, shit. scraping. Uh, after that brief exchange of you hearing the Will Masters' like words filtering into your mind, you see them kind of duck their look below the doorway in t- into and see this like partially translucent, concentrating image and just kind of standing in the middle of the chamber uh, in robes, and a number of you barely hidden off to the sides as you're in the back. Like you, f- you found the, the doorway that leads into the basement area. I found the door. <laughs> is there? Does it? Can we see anyone beyond this individual? Uh, there are people out in the streets behind. Yeah. Okay. Are we allowed to take an action, or? Well, you all dove in, in stealthed, <laughs> and the figure kind of like looked <laughs> into the chamber. Now, like you know, the 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 dark shark like eyes of uh, this particular Rylor figure kind of. Well, invite him and... in. Don't be shy. Yeah, who, well, what's going on with the Elder? I, elder the Elder's just kind of looking stunned, like. It, fucking say something, if I, Okay, I'll step forward. I'll step forward into the open. Don't and forget we're in the robes. I understand, and say, come, come, come inside, join us. It's, uh, we're having, we're having tea and biscuits, and I'll cast Fast Friends on them. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Roll action. Wisdom 16. Wisdom 16. Will matter. They're very <laughs> wise. <laughs> you, <clears throat> you go ahead and speak and give kind of the, the, the spellcraft itself kind of drifts through your, your phrases and words and the dark eyes kind of clarify on you for a moment and you watch them kind of tense and then <clears throat> Uh-oh, they resisted. open wide. <laughs> And you see them kind of take a step out of the doorway. Oh, oh. oh shit! Oh, and shit. as they're kind of Wait. glancing over their shoulder, you can see other figures beginning to kind of like step in. Uh oh. Let's roll initiative. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Oh shit! Oh, no. Immediate failed spell cast was like too, too strong of an indicator. Oh no! Guys, I'm so shot. upset. It was worth a shot. Hey guys, heed the call to adventure alongside the heroes of Exandria. The Darrington Brigade. Pre-order this oh. unforgettable set today at wizkids.io slash Darrington Brigade. The best team ever. Alrighty. So, well, you. Yeah. Guys, this there way. is the figure. Uh, Chetney, you are back here, searching in the basement area. Searching. Uh, the, uh, using these kind of proxies there, the, el- the Elder has stepped back here, a little confused. FCG, oh. you would you kind of come forward to cast the spell there, uh, Fern. We're about I, to I was hiding somewhere real good. Right, so you were <laughs> real good here. I got no. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, she yeah. actually rolled really well. Yeah, you actually well rolled really well. well. So you would be probably like back into the side here where he couldn't even see you. Okay. Uh, I was pushing for a, like behind the door ish, but like yeah, like. I'd say you went for it and hit this table. Yeah, that's kind that's of, very fair. I think Orm is behind one of the table chairs in plain sight. Table chairs. Come, the chairs chair. by the table, <laughs> right there. Oh, you got it. Chair. As opposed to the big green, slash one. All right. I invite them in. Imogen is mid transformation <laughs> here. I they, they, I know. Thank you. <laughs> it was, it was really and then we have numbers. 
Uh, and Lana? I rolled a 15, so maybe I'd be behind that like green chair, like more hidden than Orem, okay. but not that much more. Okay, great. Uh, so you see this figure step back, and uh, there are other Vanguard figures <clears throat> kind of handful. waiting behind them. Awesome. Like, does that guy have like a Carmen San Diego? Yeah, it looks like Carmen San Diego. Like yeah. We found her. That's awesome. <laughs> She's retired. There she is. All right. Oh, there's oh, the red so. bear on the moon. Is this Carmen San Diego? Diego. <laughs> uh, initiatives twenty-five to twenty. Uh, twenty. Uh, Orm. Alrighty. Orm. Orm. Twenty to fifteen. Eighteen. Sixteen. Fifteen. All right. Let's see. Uh, Lodna 16. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Let's say it again. Sorry. Four. Who had 18? I did. And then I had 16. What did you have? Also 16, Ashton. Also 16. Okay. Dex. Rollies. Oh, Dex. I'm Dex. Rollies. Rollies instead. Dex is, uh, oh, even better. Seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Rollies again! Really? Seven, Seven. 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 12. Five. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Ten. So, Chet, Ashton. Uh, Fern. Okay. And Fern. Did you uh, roll also? I haven't announced okay. yet. I haven't proclaimed. Gotcha. Okay. Fern, you got 14, you said? I got uh, 15. 15, okay. What's your dex? You want rollies? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you want rollies full? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fucking go. You think you can roll are you in, are you in, uh, I rolled, but I don't know if I. 11? Okay. 11? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're not even going to tell me? No. no. You don't know. Okay, okay, okay. It's it's secret rolling. I think Batty is before All turn. All right. Um, I rolled a 13, but I don't know if I count because I'm a fucking piece fart. of wind. No, oh. it's, it's good to know because it might come back around to it. Okay. In the amount of time it took for FCG to try to cast past friends and it failed, was that like 10 That's seconds six passing? Seconds at least. Where's the. <laughs> yeah, we'll say, it's, we'll, say, we'll say it's six seconds. So you got, we'll say roughly two more rounds. Before I can try to re-turn Before myself into correct, yeah. So, so I'm just more. I'm out this entire fight, pretty mm-hmm. much. Cool. This entire fight, yes. Yeah, yeah because cool. it takes the same amount of time to decloud. Yeah, it takes yes. a minute. <laughs> Shit. Now, so mind my you, friends will let to remind you, tea. combat has initiated, meaning that there is a, an aggressive stance taken because the spell was cast on a particular figure. Yes. The rest of the actions are up to you. To try uh, and de-escal- de-escalate? De-escalate or go in and finish it quickly or get out or whatever you want to try and do. The choice is yours. Um, but, uh, FCG, what'd you get? Nine. All right. All Just righty. to talk it out above the table, if we try and de-escalate, there's a person there that can read minds, so it probably won't go very well. Unless we tell the truth. They also can't read we our minds surrender. right now. We have to scroll yeah, up. Yeah, they can't. They can't read our minds. I don't think with that oh. scroll active. They can't. That's right. And we could surrender. Their, right. That was the intent of the yeah. setup. Yeah. Surrender. <clears throat> well, we could. <laughs> well, Orm, you're up first. Ugh. Um. Cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool. I tell you what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna walk under that table like it's a person because I'm a halfling. Yeah. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm gonna move behind the elder uh-huh. and use bait and switch to move the elder back, and I will stand forward next to the door. Okay. Uh, I am guarding the elder. I don't know what we're doing yet, and I don't want to attack because I don't know if that's the right thing to do. It might be, but I don't know. The elder has an additional five to their AC with Good to know. one's shield up. That's all I'm doing. Okay. All right, finishing Orms go. Uh, darting out of the sides. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, well, here we go. Oh, fuck. Two shrikes kind of rush up. They use their movement to get right up to the sides here. I'm gonna keep being close by. Oh, that's bad. Maybe one of them is Zesh. Maybe one of them's gonna help All right, us. finishing the Shrisco. Ladna, you're up. <clears throat> oh, okay. What am I doing? Okay, I, how, I want to get them inside, I feel like. I mean, we can try and talk out of it if you want to, or we could get captured. Either way, it takes us to the city we want to go to. I ain't worried about going to jail. To get captured. 
I can't go back. Uh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. I did feel like we just increased numbers to incentivize something besides a violent a encounter. <laughs> just to talk it out. Uh, or. A lot of, it's our, equal to our party. Yeah, but we're fucking badasses. We're Bell's Hells. Always. We ain't never lost a fight. Except for that time that Laudna died. And we definitely want, is is the Willmaster <laughs> she? <laughs> Willmaster is a she? Uh, Willmaster appears to be uh, female, yeah. Okay. What? Appears to be female. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we definitely need her. Sucker energy out. Access to the city. And a sucker energy out. Sucker, sucker, sucker energy out. Energy I really out. want to suck her energy out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um. mm. Suck your energy so hard. I suck your energy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I suck my energy. Fuck it. It's all you, babe. Uh, I'm what setting the logic? tone here. I'm gonna hex the. Seems aggressive. Let's do it. The will master. <laughs> I'm gonna hex the will master. Okay. So you and then shit, 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 Kind of shoring up the rest of the figures that are standing at their wow. sides. I'm gonna fireball them. Oh, oh shit. shit! What? Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> for that face, it's worth it alone. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good area. Well, we've I know. That's a really I know. good area. I know. Is that person behind them with the bow and arrow? Is that a is friendly? This a bad idea? No, this is a great idea. You make a bold choice when you see them clumped up through a fatal funnel. That's my thing. That's All right, thing. Flip, flip your coin. All right. Well, I didn't ask so how close low. they were. I said I cast fireball. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fireball. Are we getting any friendlies? I don't want to get the the. It looks like there's a no friendlies. If if I can, that looks. I mean, good, you don't right? have a really good view yeah, from back here. Limited. But right. to that point, even if striking the willmaster, it does not look like you get any immediate friendlies from the explosion. Anything that would. The one was I kind of uh, in danger would be. Uh, Dono, but the the building itself stops there, so it prevents the flames from reaching them. Dono's like, I'm living. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, they want, we want to make a display. We want to make a display, right? That we're on their side. I can heal. All right. I can heal people. All so right. Wait, hex gives a pleasure to take an extra damage. Yes, I thought, so we go. Yeah. go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Well, here goes I'm shit. also going to. <sighs> With your tea, man. Yeah, this isn't okay. also the. This might not be the caravan, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. No. I'm so also going to do this. We might have reinforcements coming stuff. from the rear or something. Maybe. At fourth level, by the way. Fourth level. So it's 96 points of fire damage. Go ahead and roll oh. that. Oh. Wow. Yes. Ah. Yes. Yes, my baby. <laughs> Let's do, I'll do this three times. And then there's an extra d6 on the Willmaster. Okay, so that is. Okay, wait, there's three. Okay, so that oh, is God. seven. I'm so brittle this chance of spontaneous combustion. Um, <laughs> I said seven, mm -hmm. it's 19, eight, nine, 19. No, 19. I trust Sam. Mm -hmm. So that's that three, one mistake. more. Oh, come on. You said 19, mm -hmm. um, 20, 21, 32. 32. I trust him. 32 okay. fire damage with an extra three on the Willmaster. Okay. All right. Oof. Right. Okay, what's the DC? The D C is 16, 17 okay. dex. So one of the shrikes manages to uh, to take half damage as it kind of darts out of the way. Other one gets full blast as well as uh, the willmaster taking the full brunt of it. The other figures. That's a fail. Look at those cute blue cores feeding over I there. Know, I love them. Natural one. Natural yeah. one. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like the lowest 
Saving throw rolls. Mm. When the natural one takes double damage? No, that's no, my no, crit. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I've been playing this game for a long time. It's okay. Thank uh, you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a massive burst of flame and the sound of an explosion <laughs> echoes out through the middle of the night. Uh, flames swirl in the space, and as they reside, you can see, or pull back, you can see uh, many of the figures kind of down almost to one knee, like charred and flames kind of licking off the sides oh, of their yeah, arms and funny. robes. Uh, you can see the the four uh, Vanguard figures are all going, <laughs> like just <laughs> screaming <laughs> in pain. And there's one back here who looks about 16 or so, oh. who's like, what? What's happening? What's happening? And they look near death and terrified. Oh. Um, Good. I just scream out, run! <laughs> okay. Wow. Stay put. Uh, can I move away back as far as I can go? You can go back about there. That's, okay. that's the back of the of the chamber of the uh, the, the domed abode. That's great. All right, that's that your turn. Now is the Ruby Vanguard. Oh boy. Uh, all of them start screaming and running. Oh. <laughs> this guy gets goes charging off this way. Okay. Uh, this guy kind of wanders this way and shot goes like, what? What's happening? What's happening? Nope. Uh, Shit. This guy here, he's going to stand back a little angry and get behind this side. Uh, and uh, the, in America. <laughs> the young one is going to go. <sighs> and you watch as a familiar burst oh. of semi purple energy suddenly Ruh -ruh. flashes from within him and he lifts off the ground about a foot. Oh, I just awoke in the bit. Kind of crackles at the flame hey, still kind of burning off his shoulders. Now. Exalted I, I just exalted somebody, didn't I? He's doing it, Peter. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it, Peter. <laughs> Starting to believe. <laughs> well, this got messy. It got real messy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Terrified of us. They're brutal soldiers. No, these were just these people. These were just people that were. These were just dreamers. These were just Ruidus born. They weren't necessarily. Well, they're in a. Some level of cultishness, right? Yeah. Third degree. That doesn't yeah. mean that they're like big they're, hard warriors. They're still alive they could for also the moment. Be like, <laughs> they could also be like mentally controlled. You know sure. what I mean? <clears throat> the willmaster who's <sighs> kind of like. Did I do a bad? No. no. The the willmaster. You, kind of, <laughs> Laura did not answer. Really? <laughs> 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 Everyone know Laura. Laura. <laughs> Laura can't answer right now. She's in the torch. <laughs> 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 The Willmaster that's kind of like skidded back a bit, <laughs> kind of sees and this exaltation of this 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 teenage boy, and as as he kind of floats there, and you all feel it too, like you both of you feel this like this like weird pressure kind of push back on your minds, yeah. and as, as the blast of it kind of comes through you, and you recognize another note of that network has come online. Uh, as the boy kind of stands there, the Willmaster kind of just without even glancing at him just. Points forward. Uh, it's it's still their turn. Most of them ran. The newly exalted uh, vanguard newcomer is going to go ahead and use telekinesis. Um, oh wow, he upgraded. I need you to go to make a uh, strength check for me, Lana. Oh, oh, mm, ah. good that. No. Okay. Really? No, no. <laughs> uh, that works. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, it's not zero. <laughs> you get lifted. And you are pulled up, and you are currently now held aloft in the middle of the air, kind of just above uh, the headroom of the center of this chamber. Uh, yeah, Lana go in beast mode, show him! Is this your form <laughs> of dread? It's not me! It's not me! <laughs> uh, and is just going to hold you there, grappled. And it's going to go ahead and start drifting back. This way and backward. Um, finishing there, go. That brings us to Chetney with Ashton on deck. Amazing! Uh, can I use uh, 25 of my feet so I can come up near the table in between uh, Imogen and the table, get a visual on the Will Master? Yes. Uh, and can I, with my bonus action, uh, cast Blood Curse of Binding? Sure. Uh, it is a DC st uh, strength saving throw. Uh, 
Natural 17. He saves. Sorry. Jeez. Oh, Sorry. Saves, yeah. That's okay. Uh, and with my uh, action, uh, I'm going to take uh, Turmoil and I'm going to cast Shatter Ooh. on the Will Master. Mm, you got it. Natural one. Oh, oh beautiful. Uh, let me pull up Sh Shatter. Great. 48. There's a whole caravan of these fuckers. Do we go outside or do we? They might be traitors. Do we go outside or do we? Uh, fuck traitors? Them. Yeah, they're traitors. Let's try and hold up. <laughs> <laughs> 14. Oh, 28. Yeah, I. Uh, Orm doesn't feel like they have a read on the situation at all. No, I really don't. That's good. 28 points of thunder damage. Ooh, oh, oh boy. Woo. Big roll. We're being very loud about this. We're being very loud about this. <laughs> this massive secondary detonation oh boy. kind of blasts the air with concoctive energy that just kind of is up, like cracking the ground beneath where the Willmaster stands, and it goes off. <laughs> Through the valley of nearby mountaintops, like. Oh no! And if I have it right, it's a it's a ten foot it's a ten foot sphere. So could I also hit the of the? Um, oh right, yeah, next to him. Yeah, yeah. that would actually get the other uh, of the shrike to the side. Ask friends on the which is side. a thirteen. Right. So uh, doesn't save. Con yeah. fourteen. Just want to suck the magic out of the wheelmaster. That's all I want, though. Yeah. Working on it. Um, with the last twenty feet of my movement, can I slide uh, behind Ashton? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, just out of the line of sight. There you go. <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> all right, finishing your go. Ashton, you're up. No, oh, of course. That's funny. Uh, all right, so let's fucking rage. Let's see what the hell tools I'm playing with. Um, interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Where's my pen? So yeah. I rage. I'm okay. start to go uh, a little black and white cinematic as everything around me starts to turn gray. Okay. Which means gravity. Um, okay. So this is good. Uh, I don't know what Talos is talking about. <laughs> so basically, everything is kind of starting to lean toward me in this very Ooh. odd fashion. Oh. Was it Bill's sound? Yeah. yeah. Nearby Nick actually, like, <laughs> just slowly, oh. just like dragging over. It's a vibe. Yeah. Uh, it is definitely a vibe. I'm going to. Uh, how many feet to to in getting in in this guy's face? Two. Uh, which one? Uh, is that Willmaster? Will right here, that's the Willmaster mm -hmm. there. Uh, it's about 30 feet to get there. It's about 30 feet? Uh, 20, 25 ish, yeah. 25 feet, okay. And uh, let's see how this goes. I'm just doing a little reading. As soon as um, you rush out there, the Shrike that was holding its action oh. Oh, yeah. uh, is going to uh, go ahead yeah. and unload into you. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> into you? Oh, oh, here comes that penal <laughs> sack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, is first, no, first it's going to go ahead and do multi attack with its three arm blades okay. on you. Uh, that is going to be a uh, 14 to hit. Miss. So dumb. We hear a uh, cloud snort. Natural one. Corner. Nope. <laughs> and that's going to be a 19. Uh, erratic defense. Erratic. Okay. All right. To which, go for it. Erratic defense. Um, that means uh, we hit uh, a space run, so I have resistance to the attack. Okay. He just got the high score on Galaga. Yeah. <laughs> so. Alrighty, you two. Then from that one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be for, uh, 10 points Kong of Kong slashing Kong damage. Reduced, reduced to five, five reduced yeah. to two. Two points of damage. Okay, so it just went. I feel that tiny hit. I turn to that little shrike and we oh, fuck right off and, a, and cast a, uh, a teleport disc right below him. Uh, and I'm going to send them 30 feet into the as far into those into those animals as humanly possible. Into the pen over here. Into the pen. Yeah. Using which one? Uh, I'm, I got space, so I'm resistant to the attack, and it's teleported to an empty space of my oh, choice yeah. within 30 feet. So, so 15, 20, 25, 30. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> into the pen. Blue Fuck off! And now I'm gonna turn and hit and hit the uh, go for it. Hit our friend. Okay. Oh my god! If you create a stampede, in there, can we head so cannon yeah. exalted as Billy Mitchell? Uh, <laughs> and his hot sauce. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Uh, and I think let's, he cheated uh, his way into Ruud is born. <laughs> I think he was reinstated. I think he was pulled away again. Yeah. Again in like days. Those VHS. Oh no! Like recent, recently? Recent, recent, really? Recent, yeah. Recent, yeah. Recent, recent, um, nice little asshole. It never ends. Yeah, and I'm I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna roll with uh, with advantage and take my lumps to make happen. You're fine. Uh, okay. Actually, I should. Yeah, sure shit's about to go down. To um, that's nineteen to hit. No, that's twenty to hit. Excuse me. Twenty hits. Okay, that's 
2d6 plus 12. Uh, I get to reroll this now because I did not like that roll. Um, better. Eight. Uh, 20 points of damage. 20 points of damage. Slip. <laughs> and nice. coming back down for another hit. Oh my god. So we're talking our way out of this, right? Yep. <laughs> 19. 19 hits. Going to knock out, not kill. In space, no one can hear you. Uh, <laughs> oh, I got it wrong. Uh, I have to stick with it. That's 19 points of damage. Jeez! Alrighty. Um, and then I have a little bit of movement left. Uh, I am going to, uh, let's see. Uh, that's the wrong one. Uh, I'm going to try and back off about, uh, about Three, about 15 feet, if I can get 15 more feet back. 15 more feet yeah. back this way? Three, okay, so you get right there? I'm Wait. gonna get right there, well yeah, I'm gonna get right there so that I'm kind of, okay. oh, oh, God. No! I'm gonna make it a little harder for them to get uh, uh, Laudna out of, the, out of the house. Okay. And I'm taking a defensive stance. You got it. Uh, okay. That finishes your go? Yeah. All right, it is now the Willmaster's go. Top of the Willmaster's turn. Uh, Bullmaster taking a bunch of hits, like angrily falling to the ground, and kind of like Kah! you see this kind of like dark red, purple blood kind of push onto the front of its he, robes and outfit. Gonna, he is going to get pulled ten feet towards me, uh, 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 so because it's the start of his turn and I've got the gravity up. Right? Is he make a save against it? Or just I him? think it's you. Just uh, if, if, no within save. fifteen feet, uh, there might be a save. I might have fucked it up. Uh, carry on while in the meantime. Sorry. No worries. Mm-hmm. There we go. I find it fast now. Um, uh, yeah, there's a start their turn 15 feet towards you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Within 15 feet. You, yeah, pulled 10. Matt, I'm also going to say that the Willmaster has disadvantage on. Look from your hex. Right. Okay. Strength check. Well, at the beginning of the turn, they get pulled in. Peek up. Looking towards you, their eyes kind of flare a bright white coloration oh, and. Every single person in the village that has come out to see the commotion, their eyes also turn white. Oh, God, no. Gotta knock this ah, fast. I'll immediately rush in to flank him. Huh? I want to kill them, yeah. Oh, you got to take out the source. Yeah. 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 Dash into there. Move in. Uh, or just get him unconscious, right? Yep. Yeah. Anyone feels like grabbing them and shutting the door behind them. Yeah. Uh, it's going to go ahead. Bonus action. Uh, Telekinetic shove to you. <laughs> go ahead and make a strength check for me. Okay. I'm just also checking. I cannot be knocked prone, pushed, pulled, or forced to move because of the gravity. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. yeah. It's just kind of like. Yeah. This is off on that one. Okay. Fuck. I'm just giggling like a fuck. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's the thing that heels dig in. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's jagged dart then. What? Do it. Jagged uh, dart. Jagged yeah. and dart. Jagged, jagged, dart. jagged, jagged dart. dart. Yes. Jack and dart. They go ahead and like <laughs> take a, uh, uh, this a this long, thin, pointed dart out of the side yeah. of, of like a leg Bobby. sheath oh, and like <laughs> flings it over towards you. And as they throw it, it seems to like speed up uh, through some sort of unseen force. Uh -huh. So uh, that's going to be a twenty-two to hit. Oh yeah, that hits. Okay. Nice. Twenty-two to hit. Who, who's hitting you? Uh, oh, I've finally pissed pissed them off real uh, bad. That's going to be 22 points of force damage. Halved. Not force damage. Force damage is not halved. No. Nah, force damage. Yeah. 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 Uh, and they're going to move backward to try and get away from you. That's fair. But all of his, their his followers. Oh, he can just fucking fly. Yeah, they're still going. Uh, so there's nothing I can really do about that right now. Can Ryloran hover levitate or just on foot? It's on foot. Okay. Uh, that's going to finish his go. Uh, Fern, you're up with Imogen on deck. Okay. Um, all right. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna peek around outside the door. Okay. And see the Willmaster. Indeed, you see them kind of stepping back into the crowd of many of the other nearby villagers that are all just kind of standing and blocking the way. So I sort of lock eyes and just say, Psst, "You need to come inside." And I'm going to cast Charm Person. Come on, Charm come person. on, Bernie. Okay, uh, Charm Person, because they are an aggressive, an aggressive, uh, hostile environment with you, they have advantage on the save. Okay. It's uh, will save or it's sorry, wisdom. Wisdom. wisdom? Yeah. 
That's going to be a 16. Doesn't. It's an 18. It's an 18. Oh! 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 <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to say, hey, you got to get inside right now. Come here. Oh, he's checking. He's checking. You're doing this to the Ryan, to the, the Willmaster. Will the Willmaster. Okay. But also. So so you, you so they, they treat you as a friendly acquaintance. Okay. So you tell them to come inside. Yes. Right. And they gotta look at you like. You need to come inside right now. You hear in your head. It's too dangerous. No, no, no! It's not. I promise. <laughs> come. We have to take a defensive position. No, no, no! I'm stuck in here. I'm st I'm shackled. <laughs> Make a deception check. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah, they've got me chained to the wall. <laughs> oh. Come on, you're good at deception. Oh. You're good at deception. You're good at it. I rolled a one. Oh. Oh. That's not what it's called. That's not what I meant. <laughs> they kind of give you a little like. Okay, I'll come outside. Yeah. Come join. Shackled by fear. And we go outside. Okay. Wait, why do I do it? Yeah, what? Yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're leaving the cover? It's fine, it's fine. She's do whatever. Friendly. You... They're not going to make Where all the going? villagers attack her. <laughs> I'm going to stay. You have 15 more feet of movement. To okay, do. but I'm just going to tuck around. Over here? Like to the other side. side. Yeah, that side, like I'm just Please. staying there. Okay. So you move through, it's not even focused on you now, and it's still kind of looking out in the direction of oh inside the household. <laughs> Please with the rest go in there. Please go in there. Please go in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that finishes your turn. He's like, I don't know why we're oh, friends. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> this one has terrible sense of self. Okay, okay, okay. Seems very, very, very much rapidly took you as, as an ally due to still wearing the robes of the Vanguard and is like, more like, I have to get you out of there where it's dangerous. Even if we can calm them down, what do we do with them? Imogen. A turn goes by. Uh, Shit. FCG. It's me? Yep. Are we killing these things? Just, it's just, me. just trying to I, knock one of them out, I really. The problem is me. You could also go see if Zesh is in that caravan, right? I don't well, think I, this one. Yeah, I'll, I'll do stuff as oh. soon as I can move. I'm still not a. Oh, yeah. We're I'm just. <laughs> Like a fucking moron. Uh, <laughs> it was a good call. Was it? At the time. Uh, I'm gonna try to bring the. I, I'm gonna try to shoot my grapple cannon. At, okay. At, at, uh, Eld. Uh, nope. <laughs> Willmaster. Edmunda. Edmunda. Is it Edmuda? Or Ed, Ed, Edmuda, the Willmaster. As I as I ready my grapple cannon, I say. And Muda! Any response? Uh, none that you necessarily. <laughs> and I will fire my grapple cannon at the Double Willmaster. Eyelid. At the Willmaster. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll for attack. Um, let's see if it works. Oh, How many eyelids terrible. do they have? Right more. Mm -hmm. uh, you haven't gotten a close enough look to read Fifteen. Fifteen? Uh, Versus armor class. Right. That hits, <gasps> but hold on. Mm. Uh, so that's part of the meat shield ability. Um, the as you meat fire it, ability? one of the other villagers no. jump in front of the way and take the hit instead, and your grapple cannon <laughs> sinks into oh, one of the no. local farmers. How could you? Go ahead and roll uh, oh damage. shit! I rolled a ten. <laughs> For a total of ten. Ten damage. Uh, okay, no. villager. They're toast. This villager. Wait. Gets, Wait. When oh. it pulls towards you, at least oh, okay, you can okay. heal them. You pull them into the room, kind of smashing just past Ashton onto the ground. Fuck. And they're on the ground, like. <laughs> bleeding As a out. Bonus action. Bleeding out. Mm -hmm. Can I take half their damage to myself? Yeah, you can. Okay. Oh, snap. <clears throat> well. So you only take five. Well, Meat there's... shield ability. We didn't know that was a thing. We're learning. No. We're learning. We're yeah. learning. Okay. You know how you don't learn You're their learning. abilities? By doing. getting captured. <laughs> it's true. You were the one that was leading the attack them, Frey. I'm just... very happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> right, so they kind of like stumble to the ground prone. The it, it's sticking into their chest for a minute, like oh, 
Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I was I missed. They blink and like you know the, the dark eyes return for a minute. What's what's going on? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you want to move or something? SCG, fine? speak words of comfort to them. You're gonna be fine. Everything's all right. I'm a dreamer. This is a dream. You're having a dream right now. Everything's gonna. This is a dream. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm just gonna, in six seconds, his eyes are gonna flash. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna move. I'll, I'll move off to the side if if someone wants to get around me, I guess. But okay. I, I want to stick close to the door. You got it. All right, finishing your go, FCG. That brings us to the top of the round, Orem. Ooh. Okay. So uh, Orem is going to step diagonally uh, into the doorway. Okay. Okay. As soon as he gets there, he quickly sizes up what's going on. Looks at the. Uh, Will Master, uh -huh. uh, I'll say that his eyes go a deep, deep green, uh, and he's going to start running forward, casting Hex as he goes, uh, okay. and small little black blooms, almost like Druidcraft, start to blossom out of the Rhyloran's chest around the neck, uh, and small little tendrils. Orm's going to slide under her legs. I should have 30 feet to get right behind her. Oh, yeah. And I will start to attack her using the flat of Seedling to do non-lethal damage to okay. try to continue to knock her out. Go for it. Uh, that is a uh, 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 22 to hit. 22 to hit. Uh, you go ahead and strike, and you watch the nearby figures kind of like pulse, like the muscles try and go, but you're too quick, and you strike the Willmaster. Okay. So we got a damage. All right, so that is six plus six is 12, plus a D six for the hex. So that's uh, 15 for the first smack to the side okay. of her noggin. Nice. I'm leaping there and doing this. The next is a 22 to hit again. 22 to hit. Uh, this strike, as you go to swing, one of the local farmers like darts right in front of the way and kind of like blocks the will master with their body and you sh strike them across the chest. Well, it's still non-lethal, so knocking, so that's 15 points. 15 damage, they go unconscious in the ground. You hit them with the flat of the blade and that farmer just <laughs> crumples onto the ground. Okay, non-lethal non okay. damage? Okay, okay, okay. He's drooling. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna finish. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is communal. Uh, that's a natural 20. You don't think they have rodeos in this place? So I mean, come five. on, get knocked out all the time. Yeah. Uh, one of the other farmers uh, runs in as as the will mm -hmm. master's kind of backing so out of the So it's not a reaction; it's just ongoing, continual. It seems that as long as there are any within the immediate vicinity of the will master, I roll, and there's a chance that any of them will take the blow for. It. Oh, okay. That's an wow. awesome feat. That's wow. Really, really. Cool. You just got to remove the shields. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so I've just knocked out two <laughs> citizens here. Yes. Yes. Jump forward. We're on your side. Set fire to the place. We're the good guys. Damn it. <laughs> and there's still a couple more people around. There's these three here. Yeah. There's citizens. Uh, and there's. One that's right next to them, and there's one over here that has it's a point. old man. It's a cute old man who's about to give me shield. Oh my gosh! Give me shield, an old man. Oh my gosh! I'm headed over right. to Bingo. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Orm? Um, <laughs> this is tricky. This is dark. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna action surge. Okay. And I'm gonna leap up and grapple her head and hang on. Okay, all right. So you action surge and then go on. Uh, you can grapple multiple attacks. Each attack can be a different grapple attempt. Okay. So the first one, go ahead and make an athletics check versus their athletics. That's a natural one, which I'll reroll. Okay. Natural 20. <gasps> okay, so that one fails. So uh, the first. Still very barbs. What is that? They have to reroll a twenty. Uh, that's going to be a an eleven. That was twelve. <gasps> All right. So yeah. So your first yes, attack, you go, go. and you grapple onto, and they, they're now currently 
uh, grappled and unable to move away. <laughs> silvery bars. Now, if I'm holding onto her head, I, mean, yeah. I can't use bars. the other attacks at all, right? Like, now I'm locked and I'm done, or can no, I? No, you can keep attacking. I'm gonna little... elbow her yeah. in the eye with Hex. Okay. I don't know how a person's gonna run in the way of that. That's what I'm doing. Was that Matt, try. Matt question, was that a strength ability check that they just did? Uh, that would have been, no, strength or dex, they did dex. It was, they, were, they can choose either ath athletics or acrobatics. Okay. So. so this would just be the hex damage. I got a 22 to hit with my elbow. A 22 to hit, I'll say because you're so close, it, I'm giving myself disadvantage on the roll for them to try and meet shield. Wow. Because they can grab the back of your yeah. arm as you okay. reach back and hit them. Sure. Uh, but no, they fail. Uh, so the damage goes straight through. How much is that? That was. Uh, that is six points of six hex, points hex damage, damage coming through Orm's tiny like, elbow. <laughs> and the next one is. Yeah. It glows through the tattoo as it. Uh, <laughs> 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 the moons light up. <laughs> that is a 17. 17. That does hit. Uh, and they did not manage to meet shield because of the uh, disadvantage. So okay. the next point of damage. That is four points of. Elbow hex. <coughs> Four points of elbow hex. Yeah, bro. You got it. How is she Look. looking? Uh, she's not looking great. She's looking real. She's looking kind of hurt. She got that 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 fireball and Ashen combo right out of the gate. Really kind of rocked her we'll more than she was expecting. Um, okay. That finishes your go, Orm. Jeez, yes. All right. That was awful. That felt awful. Mm-hmm. Uh, the shrike appeared here. These uh, various <laughs> cores just start going. Mm -hmm. They start getting agitated and starting to like rally out of their sleeping position. Uh, the, ball, the shrike's gonna go ahead and run and leap over this high fence. Yeah. Have 40 feet of movement. Yeah, they can get there. They're gonna rush up to you, Orem. Oh, and uh, one last detail. My hex will give the her uh, oh. disadvantage on dexterity checks. So now you're covering okay. strength. Okay, so now we have it. Nice. Yeah. Good enough. Okay. Are you still hanging under her yeah. head? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. She ain't going anywhere. The Shrike is going to dart up. Don't listen to her. Oh no, they're surrounding Orem. And it's Orem. going to. If they hit, if they miss Orem, they'll Zerzy. hit the Will Master, though. Maybe Orem can use the Will Master as a meat shield. <laughs> 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 All right, so because they have you pincered, they have advantage on the strikes. Yeah, sure. Um, the. All right, so they're going. Full in arm blade on you. Also, uh, I'll give you advantage from Silvery Barbs. <laughs> on the next Save. roll, he gets you. Mean? On. I mean, they're rolling to hit my AC. Hang on. What is that? Uh, give him that. Keep reading to see what anything else yeah. I can fucking do. Yeah, adva advantage on the next Let's attack roll, ability check, or saving throw within one minute. Okay. Okay. So the first strike from the guy on the left here is going to be. Uh, Wendy? Yep. Okay. So with that, you take this arm blade over there. Uh, 16 points of slashing damage. Got it. Second strike. Uh, not great. 15. No. Miss. Last one. That's going to be a 22. That hits. Okay. And that one's going to be. Crawled out of the way like a spider monkey for the second. Uh -huh. 18 points of slashing damage. Okay. Oof. The other one is going to go ahead and now open up on its attacks. First one is going to be. That's another 20. Uh, hits, yeah. Ooh, that's going to be uh, an 18 points of. 19 points of slashing damage. Okay. Next one, that's going to be a 21. Hits. Jesus. That's going to be a 24 points of slashing damage. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh. And then their last strike is going to be oh, natural 19. Uh, yeah, hits hits you. And that one's going to be that one's good. 15 points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, He's doing better than you might think. Mm-hmm. That's, that's real bad. Another strike. Uh, and then they're going to go ahead, use their bonus action. One of them's going to look at you, mm. and a bonus action is going to use Mind Blur, oh, fuck. and they just disappear from your sight. Oh, you cool. watch them! You watch them. They just kind of put a hand up, and all of a sudden, they're gone. Oh, fuck oh. me! Uh, Amazing. Amazing. The other one is going to go ahead and glance over in your direction too, after seeing what you did to the the mind. I mean, the Willmaster is going to do the same thing. Mm. So both of them just kind of phase out of your I eyesight. Can still see. You can see him. Yeah. Perfect. Um, but, uh, but yeah, 
Man. I can see one of the strikes. No, they both vanish from they your both side. They both vanish. focus on you. Okay. They're less worried about him as they are you at the moment. Uh, finishing their go, Laudna, you're up. All right, I'm going to quicken a spell okay. to do mirror image on myself. Mirror image. Okay. And Turn then... And then... Does it does it seem like even if I hit with like projectile spells against the Willmaster, he can still meet shield? He's not you don't or is know. it just you don't know? That's actually better than Warren. I think as long as anybody's near him. I am going to I'm actually going to unload some Eldritch Blasts at So just so you're aware, you were lifted and pulled up inside the chamber. Yeah. So uh, he has uh, three quarters cover from you currently. I have spell sniper. You do, so it doesn't even matter. Can I see the kid that's holding me? Uh, no, the angle you have down, you are unable to see the kid. Mm. Kid's behind that big rock, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> Jeez Louise. What you doing? I will. <clears throat> okay. I'm just gonna do, I'm not gonna do Eldritch Blast, I'm gonna hit him with a ray of frost in case, so I'm, and see if that works. Okay, ray of frost, can roll for attack, or is he gets a dex? <clears throat> no, I roll for attack. Okay. Yeah, and that's a natural 18 for 29. That definitely hits. Uh, okay. Meat shield. Uh, nope, meat shield missed him. Uh. Okay, so he's 3d8 and he's, he's, <clears throat> Slow now. Slowed. Good to know. Who, which one? The Will, will Master. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. View Master. Page Master. He's okay. the last laser master. What does slowed mean again? Speed is happening. His speed is, uh, is, is only do one thing. His speed is reduced right. by 10. That's the slow action. spell. Oh, okay. Yeah, the slowed status is just uh, happening. Gotcha. Uh, 15 frost damage. 15 frost damage. Alrighty. And he's, yeah, got reduced speed. No worries. So that was your quickened spell. I quickened mirror image. Oh, right. No, sorry. And that's then, right. Okay, so finish your turn. Finish my turn. So I have mirror image up now. No. Okay. The the youth the, <laughs> of uh, the Ruby Mirror comes out and is like, <sighs> and is going to go ahead and. Can I use my reaction to try and stop that? Help. Uh, if you weren't holding an action to do so, probably not. Okay, so there's no reaction I can use for someone to grab some or, or attempt to attempt to block that or shut the door. I'd be the kind of no, thing that you, hold, you hold an action for, no, unless okay. a reaction is just something you happen oh. automatically in that regard. So in this instance, I'd say no. Just other than to um, kill everybody. But is going or, to or knock him out. Knock, knock pull you out, out, open into the space here. The others. And show of strength. Take up. It's like you can see, like just the light glowing in the eyes. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and hit you with blight. So go ahead and make a constitution saving throw for me. He's hitting me with blight. Mm -hmm. He's you are he brought you out. He brought you out. Yeah. Mm. I was hoping that there'd be shit in the door, but ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Oh, mm, I rolled a five, so for 10 total. Okay. 33 points of necrotic damage to you. Okay. I don't um, Now I have to roll to save. Yes, you do. But uh, does mirror image work on this one? Mirror image work. Uh, this is a, it is not an attack roll against you. It is Shit. Shit. It's a reaction. Shit. Let me go check on mirror image real fast. This is tense. Each time a creature targets targets you with an attack during the spell's duration. It's not an attack roll, so no, it's a save. Okay, thirty-three points. You said <clears throat> correct. No. All right. No power. That's all right. Um, and go ahead and see. Make a Constitution saving throw. Concentration saving throw to see if you can maintain concentration on. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Right. Yeah, I think so. Mm. What's your total? Right. That? Plus. So it was, plus it, my spell casting. You have to beat a sixteen. Modifier. Yes, I do. Plus your Constitution saving throw. Oh, plus my, my Constitution is five, so that is sixteen. So yeah, so you're fine. You just meet it, and it's gonna go ahead and dart back this way. Not my spellcasting movement. Okay. Holding it in that way. Uh, 
Oh, well, it's the same, so, okay. This one here is going to... Hmm. The tide seems to be turning a bit, so this one here and this one here is going to turn around and it's going to go ahead, both fire crossbow bolts at you since you're up in the air. Shit. Uh, I'd say because you're not able to really move around, <laughs> you're currently restrained up there. Though. Correct. So they, they have advantage on attacks to hit you, but you roll to see if it hits you or not. So, first one is going to be twelve. Miss. <laughs> Rolled so low with advantage. <laughs> They're all like dog shit. Uh, okay, and Don't the one over here. That. You're doing pretty good here, Matt. That's going to be a twenty-three. Hit. It hits you. Yeah. Okay. So you take. Uh, nine points of piercing damage. Shunk. And then make another concentration check for me. Okay, 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 okay. This one here oh is actually going to come forward. Right there. No, this one's gonna be go keep running. I rolled a natural one, so hex has dropped. Okay. So yeah, that one that one is this one is just running away. All right, that finishes there. Go. Now it is Chetney with Ashen on deck. God, I love being on the fucking moon. <laughs> I, uh, come, running out from cover, and I'll run straight through the doorway, and I will oh, leap. Fucking time. And halfway through my jump, you'll see my head go thump, like a mascot head. It's just wolf head. <laughs> <laughs> and I will leap up and uh, fucking Ooh. headbutt <laughs> the well faster uh, with my head before vroomp, into a giant <laughs> fucking werewolf. Go for it. Great. Uh, That's perfect, Zach. Is this your first time as a werewolf on the moon? No, I kind of arrived here on the Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Uh, uh, 28 to hit. 28 definitely hits. Amazing. Uh, hold on. Oh, me show. This one, as you kind of dart in the air, transform, and you go to headbutt. You watch as this this uh, older, kind of elder-looking uh, figure kind of like comes into your periphery, almost like a like a side view, kind of <laughs> just like toasty, <laughs> and just. <laughs> this is a little nasty. Oh god! So roll damage on them, was it? Uh, uh, it's uh, nine damage. points of damage. Nine points of. Damage. <laughs> <laughs> Good headbutt. Is he yeah. unconscious? Uh, they're unconscious. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm like, fucking stay back! <laughs> I'll try and head about him again. Okay. Uh, that's uh, 18 to hit. Uh, 18 hits. They have no other targets to use their meat shield oh, ability. Sorry. That's 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. Oh, there's no other meat shields within. Uh... Within range currently. Have we knocked everybody out? Yes. Who could possibly meet you. <laughs> cool. uh, and a twenty to hit for the very for last that, one. That hits as well. Uh, and that's three plus six, nine points of damage. Nine. So. Get out okay. of the way if you can. Oh, it's so close, isn't it? Close. He's like, he's doing the. Well, the will master is starting to slip. The will master is staggering a little bit on their feet. Amazing. Clear the room, uh, Chet. Yeah, that's my. That, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just slide to the side. Thank here you. And go, just one half step. Okay. Don't, it's, I'll st I'll it's step, step over the old man. Oh, I know. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ashton. Um, I'm going to head, man. how many <laughs> How many feet is it directly oh. at yeah. what I am attempting to assume? 15 feet to get to. Only 15, damn. Yeah. Um. So, I'm going to take 10 feet back, and I'm gonna run straight at the fucker for 25 feet. Okay. This should be fun. <laughs> you full on and I'm, do the rear up and the charge. And I've got the hammer like a battering ram. I'm just going for the what I hope the jaw is. I'm just just shoving it right in that direction. Okay. Uh, reckless also, so I assume this is disadvantage. Huh? Because I can't actually see the fuck. I'm just making a very educated well, is this against guess. The strike, or is this on the Willmaster? Uh, the Willmaster. The Willmaster is not invisible. Oh, sorry. Uh, the, sh both the two the strikes. The two oh. strikes are invisible. Oh, well, that's fine then. Just uh, to you, right? Correct. Yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah, in that case, uh, yeah, reckless. Fuck it. Sure, go for it. And this is not lethal. No, yeah, no. I'm using the butt of the. I'm like using the like the glass to just try and knock you know knock right in the head. Okay. Twenty four to hit. That hits. Roll damage. That is. Why <clears throat> I have to still look this up? Oh, I actually, I think I get a special thing from that. Hold on. Uh, sorry. Uh, 
I turned purple sure. and green. Um, <laughs> and I have a galactic <laughs> invader. <laughs> Pretty good. I think I get an extra D6. Oh, for the space run, yeah. When I do the 25, uh, sure. oh, I'm so sorry, I'm looking this up again. Uh, I'll just do this. Uh, I'll just start with the damage. Uh, fuck that, I don't like that roll. Uh, that's 10, 22 points of damage. How do you want to do this? Oh. Yay! I am going to run like I'm about to like knock down a fucking door, and I'm just going to scooch up right below you and just go for the fucking glass jaw. <laughs> Full on, like, yes. they get lifted off the ground by the sheer force of the upper. Technically, they should they should fly fifteen feet, and they do. You win. Unconscious on the ground over there, uh, or am I assume you let go at the moment of impact to ensure you don't get dragged along, or do you wish to be dragged along? Uh, well, can, where's the, can I see your initiative order really quick? Mm. I'm thirteen. Oh. Uh, Orange at Ashburn. Ashton, oh, there's a ways. Um, uh, yeah, I had another D6, but that's fine. I'm gonna go with. Gonna go with? I'm gonna okay. ride. I'm gonna ride him like a so skateboard. Right. Uh, <laughs> kind of land on top of the unconscious, yeah, was bleeding body of the Willmaster. The okay. Uh, that, I believe, is all my movement. Uh, I am, I suppose, just going to spend a bonus action. It's pretty good. Just making the. <laughs> like noise, just like trying to bring it in. Yeah, now there's a big raging barbarian and wolf out here, so maybe maybe it's not as appealing to come back. It's like the people unconscious are like slowly vibrating towards me. Alrighty, that finishes your go. Wow. All of the various uh, villagers that were running in, including the elder, uh, mm. were and, and Dona were all like starting to charge inward. They all. <laughs> you mean Elder Barthy was too? He was yeah. gonna yeah. attack us. Like you're only looking outward. You didn't really notice nearby to see that they them they themselves were also kind of pulled in by the influence of the Willmaster. But that breaks free for a minute, and you see a bunch of them look look panicked, looking at what's happened, what's in the middle of here, the fight, the unconscious and bleeding members of their village, uh, and the Willmaster now knocked unconscious and thrown 15 feet through the air. They just start to scatter. Seek shelter. Uh, that brings us to the end of Ashton's turn. Uh, Willmaster is gone. Uh, Fern, you're up with the minion on deck. And what do the, the shrikes look like? Are they still rare to go? Uh, the shrikes are like, watch the master fall and, and hit the ground. <laughs> kind of glance at each other, look, and they're they're taking in as much detail about you as they can. Ah, uh, shit, kill them. <clears throat> what? This is a change of heart for them, Imogen. Why? <clears throat> Why so kill quick em. to judge? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. We don't learn okay. if we don't communicate. Willmaster still alive? The Possibly. Unconscious? We don't know. Unconscious. Unconscious. Yeah, we want to suck his okay. magic. Yeah, okay. Ask, ask your questions. Also. How? <laughs> how many feet is the Priority Willmaster look. from from the door? How many feet? Yeah. Uh, he's about thirty or so feet from the door. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's Will. Okay. It's the Will Master. The Will Master. <laughs> wow. All right. So, what we're gonna do here? Yeah. Looking up kids. Is I am going to grab, or I am going no, to vintage. use my ring and telekinesis, and, and and just like take the Will Master and just kind of pick her up and try to bring her inside. Okay. And it's it's. A strength check, but she's unconscious. Right. She's unconscious. She's unconscious. Uh, the ring works towards objects, right? Um, also creatures. Well, I don't. Maybe because it says it says creature. You can try to move a huge or smaller creature. Make an ability check with your spellcasting ability contested by the creature's strength. Is this check. the exu ring? Yeah. Yeah. I think you changed. That's totally his, overpowered. Yeah, I love I it. Think he changed, Use it. Didn't he change it to just objects? Grab by the belt buckle. Did it? Did it yeah. My overpowered ring? Yeah, I love it's okay. it. It's okay. Grab her by the piercing. Yeah, he might have. Now we're like. Yeah. You can only turn her objects that aren't being worn or carried. Got uh, it. Um, okay. If they were dead, I'd say they'd be an object. But That's still fine. Still alive. Um. <laughs> wow. Oh, Travis. All right, you know what? I'm alluding to uh, allergies. Short. Yeah, yeah. Those, those, those spiky no, ones. Yeah. Yeah. That would be very good if we can make those spiky ones drop. <laughs> um, Ash, can you help me? What do you need? Can you go pick her up? <laughs> oh, Once these fucks are done, yes. How many are left standing? 
Uh, there's two Shrike here that were like focused on Orm for a minute. Uh, there is there are these two figures. This one that's running away, and the one that's like floating and glowing that's currently holding Laudna in the air. Is he is he looking weird yet, or no? Is he or is he? I was hoping that he was telepathically controlled as well, but we'll find out. Seems to not be the case. Okay. Wait, who? Oh, he's all the sixteen-year-old boy over there. No, he's just controlled by the. He just turned into an X-Man. He's feeling it. Sleeping one. I got my alert. So we still have some problems. I'm gonna scorching ray. Put us, put us some scorching rays. I'm gonna start with one that's running away. Running away? Okay. Yes, because oh, the range is on. Yeah. Is is I think it's 120. That's right. We do. Yep, 120. Feet. Oh yeah, I don't even have to. Which one man. is running away? I think that Carmen San Diego. Oh, Carmen San Diego. Carmen San Diego. All right, go ahead and roll for an attack okay. on them. We're burning them up. Knock them out at least. 19. Oh, scorching Diego. Ray. 19 hits. Don't knock people out. No, the. Some of them are bad. Scorching ray. Which ones? Carmen 16. 16. Uh. 16 hits. Or well, let me let me let me let me see here. I wonder if I should I do one of each. Like or I'll also say we are in combat with a few that nearly killed Shet in one round. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So I'll do I'll do the, the one to the running away, and then uh, the other ones to the two other strikes. Yes, you got it. All right. So sixteen okay, would yes. miss. And so sixteen miss. Sixteen misses the strike. The first okay. Strike and the second uh, one. Night, another nineteen. That does it. Okay. So, the, so you have one hit on him and one on the strike. Okay. Um. My imagination, they don't like fire. 11 for the I first hit? Might have just been a surprise. <laughs> might have just been a surprise fire. No one likes surprise fire. I don't know anyone who likes me. The guy's running just. Oh, great, yeah. great, okay. And he's just burning now on the ground oh. across the way. Second hit? No, oh, well. Um, nine. No. We come in peace. Is that karma? Nine, nine damage on the other strike? Yeah, on the other strike. Okay. Um, and then. <laughs> um, damn, it's a little late, but wait, hang on one second. Question. Yes. With my spark. Yeah. Um. Only when I have transformed do, do you get, I have. Do you get the bonus damage? Yes. Got it. Okay. But you get it for an hour. I get it for an hour. Okay, so good enough. Um, and then as a bonus action, a little late, but I'm gonna take out Mister. Okay. <laughs> Was Mister gonna just appear by the Shrike or by you or? Um, I'm gonna keep him by me. Okay. Perfect. You got it. Have you used that pirate thing yet? No. Okay. No. There's a specific context for that one. All right, finishing uh, Ferns Go, Imogen. What kind of context? You're now missed. Great. <laughs> FCG. <laughs> right. Sorry, Laura. No, it's my fault. You know? I, can I see the floating exalted <laughs> from inside? Probably not. From where you are, no. I can't really see many of these guys. Not inside the house, no. Nice in here, though. <laughs> you can kind of see one shrike. That's about it. How many? I, okay, I'm gonna step to the doorway. Okay. Magic. Magic. How many hostiles are there that I can see? Uh, you can see the two shrikes. One that looks more damaged than the other. You see two ruby vanguard figures that are uh, kind of on the sides with crossbows that are also looking like. <sighs> can you point with your fingers to the ruby vanguards and crossbows? Right there. Right there. And right there. Got it. So we have, there's four left standing. Yeah. And the exalted. <clears throat> okay. yeah. The exalted's them... right there. Okay. Yeah, we're still a little fucked. I. I'm. <sighs> Tell the kid to knock it off. I'm going to calm emotions. Calm emotions on everybody. Okay. Is that a sight thing or is it just a range? It's uh, a range, twenty foot, twenty foot radius sphere. So correct. So it's about sphere. as large as a fireball. So where do you want it to go? I mean. I wanted to get everyone I can see. Everyone, I, everyone you can see would be probably if you wanted to get closer over here, you could get. You should get the exalted and leave the guy by the door alone, and I'll take I care. don't know that I can. I know where the or exalted oh, is or yeah. that he exists. Fair, fair, fair. Honestly, him and I'm up next. Fair, fair, fair. Okay, so that 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 will get uh, the two shrank and the gentleman over there. That is a charisma saving throw. Carmen Sandiego. Yes. Oh, Carmen <laughs> on fire right now. I was like, what is this thing going It's a low DC because I believe I'm using a feature to cast it. So. That Shrike is going to be uh, an eight. Fail. <laughs> Other Shrike. 
Uh, it's going to be an 11. Fail. Matt, it's okay. It's okay, bud. That guy over like there it. is going to be a 15. Succeed. Okay. So Which that, guy? This guy right here. Yeah, yes. so, so, so the Vanguard guy is still like. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to say, like, everybody, there's been a misunderstanding. Let's just talk it out like reasonable adults. A little robot comes out of the hut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As as that falls, you can see like all like the the various villagers that are taking heavy hits are still kind of like groaning unconscious in the ground. <laughs> the uh, the two shrike, uh, after watching the willmaster tumble to the ground, blades out from their like jagged looking like armaments that are kind of predator style coming out of their their bracers. Look at you. And kind of like stand, kind of resolute and calm for a moment. Amazing. Does it last? It lasts for a little bit. What's uh, a little bit? <laughs> you know, um, around a minute. A minute. Okay, a minute's <laughs> fine. Okay. Let's get him, get her inside. And if I have any oh, more yeah, movement, was... and if I can with my bonus action, mm -hmm. you got let's say twenty more feet of movement. I'll move to the old guy on the floor. Right here. Okay. Uh, no, I'm sorry. The old, the elder that the werewolf headbutted in. <laughs> oh, over here. <laughs> okay. <skull. laughs> <laughs> the werewolf head but actually, Can you do like a masculine werewolf? The like, only part like of the body. But not, I, I, I really only have like one spell left. Yeah. So I want to save We're it just in case. Fair, fair. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump a little healing popo. Okay. In uh, down his his old man. Down, down the gaping hole in his face that Chet made. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you, yeah, it's yeah, it's it, it's full on fist North Star style. The head just kind of yeah, yeah. cave, <laughs> and as you pour the potion over, kind of like, <laughs> like, like they blew in their thumb hard enough and just cartoon reform. Oh, incredible! Um, like, oh. and thank you. He's being straddled by a werewolf. <laughs> 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 Um, I, it's pl this plus four also. Correct. So that was, I think it's nine plus four. It's, it's yeah, back up to full. Back to full health. Okay. <sighs> Take it away from me. Thank you. Take this. Away. All right. Finishing FCGs. Go. Orum, you're up. Okay. So uh, Orum does the Orum thing and tabulates everything that's going on. FCG comes out and plays Peacemaker, but he looks up and sees Laudna kind of contorted in the air, and then looks over and sees the Exalted hovering. Oh yeah. So he just turns to the Exalted and little dark green, bordering on black vines and flowers start to snake along the ground towards him and erupt up his body as I transfer the hex to him. Okay. And I just calmly walk forward and I try to knock him the fuck out. Go for it. Also, I took five uh, points of damage that right. I had absorbed we'll earlier. Yeah. Let's make it a goading attack for extra damage. That is a seven, uh, 18 to hit. Goaded. Okay, 18 does hit. Okay, so that is six plus four. Actually, hold on, 18 to hit? Mm -hmm. uh, he's gonna shield. Oh, okay. Oh, like, I'm That's looking at you, just all of a sudden, hours. one of the hands just goes, oh, shh, and the shield no. deflects your first hit. Okay. Uh, so the next one is a 22. 22 hits. Okay, so I'm gonna go six plus four is 10. 22 just hits with the shield up. <laughs> wow. So he takes uh, 19 points of damage for that one because of the hex. How do you want to do this? Wait. Oh. Well, it's it's a flat of the blade. So uh, I'll say that I uh, strike out, and the the sword just sort of like ricochets off of nothing. And I just spin the blade around, and the flat just goes bang onto his forehead. Well, she turns it's like, you do not know what you. <laughs> 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 and just. <laughs> Like a, like a sack of potatoes in the ground. <laughs> but once for a moment there was this like terrifying conduit for some sort of power that you've seen do astronomical things through your ally uh, crumple into a, a, a scared and unconscious 16-year-old boy. Right, right. And I'm then I'm going to just stand. Uh, that was like 20 to get there, you think? Or oh, 10, 15? 10, because you, you're at one, two. So yeah, you still have. Uh, 20 feet, 25 feet of movement? <laughs> Fuck it. Um, I'll run to that one and take a swipe at it. To the other shrike? Yeah. Oh, the calm one? Are they, they're both calm? You, you, as you look towards them, they're both standing, kind of blades at the side, kind of. Then I'll say I run halfway back and see that. Okay. And then I will just hold. 
There's okay. one. There's a crossbow person, if yeah, I recall. We got ones. Guy gotcha. Armor. All right. Yeah, both of them actually. Yeah. They're, no, they're I both can't make it that far. No, no, no. it's uh, no, the guy back next eleven thirty on your. You're right at your midnight. Somebody point at it because I can't see. This guy's that guy's pictures. down. What crossbow? Uh, guy both of these guys are still on the board. Yeah, the one that his right hand was pointing to. None no. of them are in range for anything I can do. No. Yeah, yeah, we were just, just telling you just which one was there. Yeah, letting you know okay. who's, yeah. who's still I, in. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I know. I remember they're awake. Um, if they see us being violent, do they come out of their calm? Uh, let me check my spells. I think only if you do violent stuff against To them, them. yeah. I don't yeah. want to pull a Keyleth here. Um, wow. Alternatively, were the witnesses <laughs> any of its friends being Thanks, harmed? Keyleth. Okay. Thanks, Keyleth. Oh, witness? Okay. Some okay. gifts. I'm never going to okay. live it. Keep never going to live it down. So, if he, so they're already out of it. The dread of no, they didn't see that. I don't know. Oh, they he didn't. They didn't the see him fall. Okay, the cool, chains. cool, cool. Oh, when I broke the guy's neck. So that finishes neck. your go. Yeah, it's now the Shrike's turn. Yeah. Some more keel saying war. War never <laughs> changes. <laughs> they turn and lift the unconscious body of yeah, the Will Master. No. Oh. The two of them. And kind of uh, like they would have actually. Even if I didn't see them in theory, they would have been in my in the density well. Uh, if I can affect, I don't know if, if I can. Would you prefer to affect them? I, I, I mean, it would just slow them down and bring them ten feet towards me. Okay. They shift back, so just yeah. And it, their movement ends there, getting there, and they use their action to kind of pick it up, and begin to kind of bring it this way, past you, Orem. They get that far with. I don't know. They, they, have, they have high Orem? movement. What's up? It looks like they're kind of collecting their boss. And they're just like backing away. Mm. Shit. So. I'm not in the sky anymore, right? Uh, no, you <laughs> plummet to the ground. Oh, Only if they keep moving. Well, they moved past. Past you. Break. You take uh, five points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah, at least one of them. Right? Hey, yeah. Me. Yeah. Um, Ashen, catch me! Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. If they if they were walk, moving past me, Matt, can I take an attack of opportunity? If you want to, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do a tripping attack on the one closest to me. Try to knock him down. Okay. Uh, that's 22 to hit. 22 hits. Uh, so that's six plus the is 12 plus the hex dam. No, no hex damage. 12. And it's a strength save. All right, strength save on him. Uh, 11. Not great. Uh, that's not enough. He's down. Yep. So he. He gets knocked down uh, from that. The calm emotions on both of them ends immediately from what he's seen their, the attack on their allies. The body of the unconscious Willmaster <laughs> tumbles <laughs> off the ground again, and both strikes both spin to you. Mm -hmm. Shh! Blades out and at the ready. That's right, they uh, used their turn to move the dude instead of attack. Yep, they wasted their turn. With that, Ladna, you're up. No, he's unconscious. Well, I mean, you're down, you're on the he's ground. Not dying. I'm on the ground, yes, yeah. but I'm up. He's just, he's Is stabilized. Matthew? <laughs> yeah. Mercer? Everyone's yeah. stabilized. The Willmaster is unconscious and sa and f and making death saves or stable. Uh, unconscious and currently, we'll find out on their turn. Okay. Well, we did long lethal damage, though, right? Yes. Yes. That Correct. Yeah. Um. If you're okay. non lethal damage being zero, they're gonna be okay. You're not trying to kill them. It's okay. In, it's in the, the lethal damage sense. Uh, now you haven't really seen the blow that took him down necessarily, not clearly, but he's not. I'll just tell you, he's he's not in danger yet. Way okay. to break my immersion. I know. <laughs> 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 These guys are focusing on Orem. They seem now, to be very focused on him. And are no longer focused at trying to get away with their their boss. Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Kill. Him. There was there there was a moment of of, of pause and parlay in which their 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 strategy was sword in their arms. Take them and leave. They do have swords in their arms, which was pretty cool. But I'm gonna just unload some Eldritch Blast. I'm gonna quicken a spell and I'm gonna quicken Eldritch Blast. Non lethal Eldritch Blast. Uh well, to them? Not these guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I'm gonna say there's not much of a non-lethal blast. No, I know. Blast. No, I know. <laughs> so wait, there's, there's the, know. the one that's on the ground. Yeah. And he's he's just fallen over. He just got tripped by uh, Orem. Yeah, I hit him in the shin. I'll hit the one that's standing. <laughs> I aimed upward. Okay. Oh, with all yes. three? With all three, because I'm gonna do it again. Oh, I quicken, shit. I quickened an Eldritch <laughs> blast. Okay. Um, okay, so that is going to be. 
The lowest one is 14. 14 misses. Wait, 11 plus five is 16. 16. Still misses. Okay. So one misses, the other one is 25 and Hits. 24. Hits. Okay. That's contra. 10, 10, sorry. There we go. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then that is going to be. Ooh! Ooh, that's good! Oh, that is good. Um, okay, that's going to be 15 and 14 Woo! damage on those two hits. Rolled a 10 and a 9. How do you want to do this? <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm I'm real mad. So um, they're just like homing beacons, and kind of I want to arc them around this rock, and it just like fucking sandwiches him. Got it. So I, he, you see the blades out, crouches down, and goes to leap towards Orm, but before it speak, can, can even leap the ground, uh, one kind of poof, hits it up in the air. The other one hits it from the side, and almost like corkscrew gets blown <laughs> off of the side and lands. <laughs> Okay, um, that was a, qu a quickened one, so I'm going to do it again to the other one. The other one, okay. Now, the other one, because it is prone, your attack's a disadvantage. Spell sniper. Spell sniper, does that ignore prone? Oh, uh, well, uh, I guess it just ignores I think three, just quarter ignores quarter cover, three quarters cover, so I didn't know if that, okay. So, yeah, so it's still. Well, one's a natural, t well, now they're all at disadvantage. I rolled three. There's the other, we got the two other folks, do. too. Double check this just to make sure. I'm pretty sure prone is, is a, still a problem. They yeah, just ignore half cover and, and three quarter yeah. cover. So yeah, so it's still prone. Prone is still oh, person. Boy. Mm. Yeah, okay. you know. <laughs> the roller says now. I think if that's a disadvantage, then I think they all miss. Okay. Yeah. The other ones <laughs> slam into the dirt next to the one that's on the ground. The one on the ground is like. <sighs> Try grabbing its side and seeing the tide turn rapidly. Okay. I finished the turn. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's go. Uh, it's now the two uh, Vanguard figures. They actually, actually no. At the end of your turn. Uh, oh, here they come. What? It's been turned on. Yeah. Cat was spooked. What? Oh. What? Yeah, the cat was spooked. <laughs> Slam <laughs> through the gate. Oh no! Oh, shit! Watch out! Oh no, they're gonna trample everyone. Oh no! It's like city slickers. Oh, oh, fuck no! <laughs> fuck! This is bad. This officially got bad. Man? Oh my the, god! The one that you just poured the potion in is like, thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, here they don't, they don't quite get to him. like 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 impacting and pushing it through and then getting their movement there like like they they're just on the cusp of it. You, know? okay. you, you have an opportunity here to try and quell this sudden. Are you going to be okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Can you calm their emotions? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, but really? I do. This guy animals. is gonna oh, that's right. run this way. Oh no! We and gotta start off that way. Uh. This guy also is gonna go ahead and run off this way. All right. Finishing their go, Chetney, you're up with Ashton on deck. <laughs> Fucking Wowzers. amazing. Wowzers. Uh, I'm gonna look down at the old man who's about to be trampled and say, I fight for the user. <laughs> I'll just take off running this way. This way? Yeah, I'm gonna run in front of the bulls. Oh my god. Oh man, you are like cresting in, yep. in front of I'm the like doing, I'm doing like the heist awesome. on their heads. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> They're like on your Run left the whole heads. way. Let's see. Yeah. So, 15, 15, 20, 25. Awesome. I think I have like 15 more feet. Can I get all the way up to. The Shrek on the ground? Or what are you trying to get? He's out of sight, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll go up to the Shrek on the ground because okay. nobody can even see him. You got it. Um, and I'll take. Uh, I'll use my bonus action to scrape alongside my thighs with my, <laughs> my sweet ass claws. Uh, and with my crimson right, and I'll take five points of damage. Alrighty. Um, and I will take uh, the first of two swipe attacks at the downed. Go for it. Okay. Uh, that's a natural 20. Awesome. You have advantage on him, by the way, because he's prone. Uh, yeah, so the first attack is just fine. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, just make sure. Studying uh, it for the next eight, one, you can yeah. do that too. Uh, 16. Uh, 
22 points of damage. Already in that first hit. Alrighty. Uh, and then I think I roll, I have, I have not rolled a lot of crits. I think when I crit, I roll a, I don't see it, it's fine. Uh, I'll take the second one. Get with advantage. Thought I rolled an extra damage. Uh, 27 to hit. That hits. That's awesome. Uh, seven plus six plus five, 11. 18 points of damage. 18 points of damage? How do you want to do this? Hey! Uh, I just, uh, actually, I just come over at once and I go, and just like open yeah. his thorax. Oh, <laughs> it's just yes. the, the rib it's cage is just yeah, open. <laughs> <laughs> Across the, uh, the <laughs> The uh, the well like structure of the right of you is just splattered with dark purple and red crimson gore, uh, and he is done. Amazing. I think that was all my speed. Bonus action, action. Uh, that's my turn. All right, finishing. Let's uh, go, Ashton. You're up. Okay. So we have a problem over here. Um, no, I've got people on the ground. Uh, somebody else can deal. Too. There's nothing I can do about him. I can. I can. I can try to take care of okay, that. Okay. You're. I can get the other guy too. All right, I'm going to. Both the guys running are still heavily wounded from the fireball that opened this up. Mm, that's good. Yeah. Here, man. Both of them. They're like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we saw them take off, so maybe we can try and chase them down. Were there any other ones that got away, or is that everybody that so was the there? ones that you saw? There's only been a few seconds at this point, and you've made a lot of loud noises, so you get the sense uh, everyone in the village has heard this. Yeah. We can right. still join the caravan, right? <laughs> <laughs> if we kill everyone on the caravan, we can take the caravan. We are the caravan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it's gone sideways. Um, what you got, Ashen? Um, I'm going to kind of try and hop. I see where the where the animals are about to trample a bunch of people yeah. who are unconscious on the ground. Uh, there are. Two people that are uh, how many? How One, many people two, are in the? That are immediately in danger. Okay, I do not have enough action to carry all of them. Uh, so you can carry okay. two, since they're limp, uh, or one of them is conscious. Um, get what you can get. I'll get the other guy. You can get the other guy. Yeah. I it, yeah. I think so. Will the stampede? Okay, I'm just going to assume that. Uh, I'll have to. Can't do it all, Ashton. Okay, so I'm going to grab the two and uh, two that I can get in the okay. front, and I'm going to just pull them ten feet back. Okay, into the house or no, no, side? just just under the under the like right there. I want to okay. leave myself a little bit of running room. You got it. So both of these. Can kind of so that's my the action side. and part of my movement, or is that just movement? That's that's your action. You have to, like grab yeah. them and grab and then move back with them. Okay, then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, Try and head in front of FCG and just sort of be a uh, uh, a meat, meat shield uh, right in front of the the in front of the bulls. Okay, so Carry, can, carrying both of them would half your movement. So I don't think you have. I would. I drop them then at that point though, and then I would. I'm just going to try right, and use so the, five, the rest. 10, 15, Yeah, I'm twenty to grab them. Twenty-five to thirty. Thirty-five to forty to bring them back here and drop them. Oh, I'm done. Then? Have left. Uh, forty is my movement. So yeah, that that's about where you are, unfortunately. She... Okay, I'm just gonna have the faith. Have thing. faith in the change bringer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I says all right. She's got all a right. plan for it's, everyone. Ashley's done. Fern, you're Some up. That might be getting trampled. FCG on deck. What you got? All right. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna scorching ray again to the runners. I know he's okay. running. He's already down, right? Oh yeah. Fern, yeah he's, he's down. down. Yeah, There's one guy over here that you can't even really quite see from where your vantage point is. You could try and move. All right, I'll try to just move around. Okay. Try to just you look around. You have to move in front of the bulls to do so, just so you know. Be cool with that. If you try and That's get fine. The, that guy, okay. I can I can get the other runner. I have a good chance on the runner. Which one are you thinking? I can I can probably get this guy. Okay. And Orum can if you can get that guy. Okay. There to keep you. So I'll grab. I'll grab. Control. I'll send some scorching rays that way. To this guy. Is this okay. one down? That one. I, I yeah, know that, we knocked him down, but that's he, fire. Yeah, he's on fire and not moving. Okay. So we'll just leave him be. All right, so this All guy's right, running so away. Unload on him. <laughs> okay. We got a natural twenty. Ooh! We got. I'll take that. We got a nineteen. Hits. And we got a seventeen. Dang okay, all three hit. The first one doubled. So go ahead and roll right. the first two d six. And then, since Mister's out, I got an extra d eight. Is that for each hit or worse. just once? Let me look at your imagination. 
a shit storm. Uh, this is a serious shit storm. This went really poorly. This is my fault. Well, no, I'm blaming Travis too. It doesn't do that. <laughs> Feels like that would be a lot to do for each. I don't think it's. No, it might be. Anyway, go ahead and roll damage, and I'll let you know in a second. A million. Mm, that's fine. So the first two were doubled. <laughs> Oh, first two are doubled. Because you crit, yeah. Because I would just roll it all okay, again. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh. So five. Ten. Ten. So ten, ten damage on the first, okay. Nine for the second one. Okay, 19. Uh, the th oh yeah, that's so there's a third. Uh, nine again. Okay, there you go. And then the D8. Mm -hmm. Uh, <gasps> it's so frustrating. It's so <laughs> annoying. To one damage, roll the spell. So there's an additional d8 on okay, top so of that. Okay, so it's an additional denial two. Okay, so 30 points of fire damage. He is very much okay. running away. Falls to his knees Sorry. and crumples. Are we? All right, so it's Mister's turn now. It is. <laughs> yes. Uh, hi, Boo. All right. So. Um, he can fly. <laughs> he can fly. He can fly. Yeah, he can fly. Wait. Flying monkey that can fly. Always. <laughs> fly monkey with a gun. Could he always fly? Yeah. Oh, when, when has he been I able to fly? Yeah, he, has fly. Fly. he has a fly speed of thirty feet. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's a he's a magic. I, I yeah. Oh yeah. He was. I don't remember that. Ever seen it? All right. So. <laughs> He's so actually the only Hello. one. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> I've always <laughs> talked like this! <laughs> Who else is still conscious that we have up? That guy. Possessive. Just him? Mr. Wait, what? No. Who? <laughs> Wait, um, what? Who? Who? Doesn't Who? Seem Maybe either. he doesn't really He's... do much of anything. Oh, that guy running. Stuck so, so out of the village. <laughs> yeah, well. Score sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's the only way to be sure. Just gotta go back into the house. I think that's. Right. I think that's good because. Um, break, break all the pots. He can throw <laughs> flaming seed at, at sixty feet. Is he even remotely close to that uh, if he moves forward? He moves thirty five. Because if not, I'll just stop. Thirty can come oh. get up there. Uh, nah. Yeah, nah. that's okay. That's my turn. That's okay. and that's Mister's turn. We'll just wait it out. All right. FCG, you're up. Okay. Wait, no, I, I oh, no, you can go. move, right? I'm yeah. A, I'm a cloud. You are. Um, can I fly this out? Is, this how, is, how this I, is you. What's my movement? Really make the most Super of this fucking 300 fast. feet. I am going to make the most of this. 300 feet. I'm going to come out and fly up. Yeah, I want to see how many people have noticed the sound and how many people are coming to run to okay. the area that we're in. <laughs> you dart out high yeah. up into the sky. Make you a perception check for it. Yeah, I can still let you guys know what yeah, I yeah. see. Make a perception yeah. check. Nine. <laughs> okay, uh, you don't think of any specific <laughs> details, but indeed, I like see people moving. Yeah. yeah, you see that a lot of a lot of folks have run to their homes. Like people came out to see the the commotion of the arrival of this late night caravan, mm -hmm. and with the explosions and the sounds of violence, people have scattered back to their homes. You can see the little bit of flames of the caravan as it arrived on like the what would be the same kind of southern edge of the village that you'd come to if you were heading northward. Um, uh, and you can see there are some figures that are kind of like gathering to come here. It'll be a little bit of a, you know, it's a brief time, but that's the best you can make out. Okay. I'll say that to the group. People are definitely heading this direction. Okay. And you can dart back down <laughs> just as fast sure. if you wanted to. Um, or stay up there if you want. Might help, might help us keep an eye on. That's true. To okay. stay the out? Runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The runner. Okay. We'll just, we'll yeah. just, I'll denote this as you being up in the sky. All right. Uh, <laughs> with that, FCG? We've got Imogen on the ones. Never looked better. Question that will form what I do here. Yeah. Is the ground stone? Uh, the ground around here appears to be mostly like stone and shale with a bit of like okay. kind of, uh, yeah, rocky earth. Like enough of. to perform a stone shape on? Oh, uh, you know what? Ooh, like Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Yeah, because it's, it's, you definitely do that. Okay, then I will, where's the guy? Right He's behind right behind you. me, and what Thanks. kind of a fellow is he? Or On the ground? Yeah. Uh, you see what looks to be a kind of rough and tumble, 
uh, I'm sorry, I forgot what's wrong. No, a, a, a roughly dressed, um, a Rhyloran figure that looks a little gaunt, um, definitely a farmhand uh, in disposition mm-hmm. on the ground unconscious. Okay, I will turn to him, uh, get down, sort of covering him up with my body, and I'll just say, just stay low, and I'm gonna stone shape a ramp over us. <laughs> Sick. Cool. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You go ahead and form this like thick red rock ramp that shoots up just over the two of you as you protect their body. Is that your turn? That's my action. Oh, yeah. This map is okay. okay. Orem, you're up. <laughs> All right. With my uh, passive perception of 31, I totally heard the runner going. So yeah. Orem is going to then sprint to try to catch the runner. He's going to get to here, yeah. and I'm going to use seedling and throw out a vine and try to yank the guy back. Okay. So he gets a deck save. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is going to be a 12. 12. Fails. <laughs> yeah, poof, gets pulled back. Wow. Yes. And, and like just, banged into the shit around it. <laughs> and <laughs> as yep. soon as I yank, I turn seedling around and have the hilt ready and to catch it in the back of his head. That's a 25 Ooh. hit. That definitely hits. And it's a, we'll call it a tripping attack. Uh, two. Definitely tripping. Uh, <laughs> plus six, oh, eight. Eight. bad. Yeah. Oh. No bad laughing. <laughs> So Damn it. 18 delivery. points so of non-lethal delivery. damage Thank just you. waiting. All right, you know. <laughs> Takes the hit and is out cold in your grasp before. God God damn it. Oh boy! Oh, 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 oh boy! Picks him! All right. <laughs> so. We still have cattle. The, the cattle begin to scatter. I'll say for, for the purposes of this, the, the people that were immediately in danger of this have been pulled off to the side or have been uh, situated in a protective place as the two cattle that were rushing your direction kind of begin to, to, to dart forward their massive horns in front of them, the weight clambering onto the stone. Uh, yeah, no, it holds. Uh, you feel it like crack and bits of dust and stone kind of clambering off as you hear the <laughs> the heavy thunderous hooves begin parading over before <laughs> and they just continue to Rush out into the streets. The rest of you kind of dart off to the side and keep low and kind God, of keep off to the side. I'm definitely suplexing a buffalo and starting to eat it in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Just, no, Let's no, go. No. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> we are allies. We're friends. I've often said there's nowhere near enough suplexing in this campaign, so I hold you to task on this. Okay, I'm doing it. Okay. It's been so long. Chad. The old man wakes up. He's like, "Not Joseph." I know. My entire life. <laughs> For a split right. second, it's not Chetney, it's just Travis <laughs> on the moon. <laughs> <Yeah. staring. laughs> all right, so at this moment, mm. uh, as all the chaos is happening, you all the the the, uh, the hooves begin to scatter throughout the surrounding parts of the village. Uh, you can see the lights kind of gathering over by where the caravan is, and you're still in a very seriously tense moment. Uh, Elder Barthy kind of steps out of the doorway to the rest of you and goes. <laughs> This has gone real tits up. Uh, what, what, what? What do we do? What do you do? What's the plan? You never saw me. I we didn't talk. Right. What can we do to help? Of course not. Let's start gathering the bodies and. We gotta clean up. We yeah. gotta clean up. Yeah, bat bodies go. I think underneath the floor okay. in the house. Yeah. And maybe the willmaster goes in the hole with somebody else. We leave it open. Yeah. I'm gonna start hey, dragging. You got any stone The guy from over here. That's done. I, I'm okay. gonna just start dragging. What, what, to do what? To make a little hidey hole. I can cover something. Don't we have a portable we hole? We have the portable. We, we can put him in the portable for like a sure. second. Awesome. Okay. When, when others come, we can just say that it was a stampede. Uh, that's what yes. caused all the chaos. Yes. And they uh, knocked over a lamp. It's which actually made helpful. A 40 foot wide explosion. I am, <laughs> I am already opening up the hole. I mean. And one yeah. of the bowls exploded when it went through the fence. <laughs> <laughs> It's an odd moment where, like, there's been so much chaos in this point, and then after a brief few moments of you conversing and figuring out the plan, begin to, to push around. The silence falls in the space behind it as the creature begin to push outward. And you can hear the shouts and conversation on the periphery. You begin to pull the bodies back into the uh, the dome of the elder, uh, and you set down the hole, and you begin to prepare whatever it is you wish to do in the time that you have. 
to keep from furthering the chain of danger that seems to be following at your heels every step since arrival. As you clamber in, kind of seeing shapes approaching from the far end of the village pathway, closing the door into the elder's hut, the elder kind of walking in circles. We're going to go ahead and finish the episode oh there. Oh my god! Oh, that that was, was the most chaotic map I fucking loved it. That got wild. We had a stampede, dude! <laughs> I feel that so bad wild. about this. I Have we ever had a stampede I feel before? Wrong. They need those yeah. cattle, man. I want to run after them. So. No, they're, they're, good distraction. they're good wranglers. Yeah, okay. They'll, they'll, okay. they'll pull yeah, they'll, them around. They, they know like what they're doing. They'll up the ground. They yeah, won't be able yeah, to tell footprints. Oh, God. Yeah. It, it ended up working in your favor. Um, and I'm teleport. super full now. <laughs> <laughs> that teleport was fucking great. Right. Yeah, that, that really sent it off. Like, like the explosion already spooked them, but they had, but they had uh, no real, like, <clears throat> uh, point of reference, and then as soon as the shrikes kind of like appeared, it spooked them further and turned them in a direction, and then they just all charged the edge of that fence. That's amazing. It was it was a perfect like chain of events. I um, to use that. But anyway, that uh, we'll pick up from from this tense moment and see what transpires after uh, next episode. Uh, thank you all for joining us. We love you very much, and is it Thursday? Yeah. Good night. Bye.